and gentlemen, Champions of the Realms, MKX is going down tonight. We're going to be bringing you guys the hype like you've never seen. Destroyer not hitting full screen on me right away, which we're not going to talk about. <laughs> did you did you turn off, did you turn off your camera one time? I should have. No, I, I should I should have. I should have fucking double checked. My bad, not bro. Even once. My, listen, now they know that you yeah. like you like to spam the leather A at me sometimes. Now, yeah, okay. They found right. out. Yo, but hey, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Welcome once again to Champions of the Realms MKX. This past Wednesday, we had the top 16 go down over on Destroyer's channel, and I gotta be honest, man, I, I cannot believe some of the matches that we saw take place destroyer there were upsets like we've never seen before in champions of the realms and we have a top eight today that's com that's full of wild cards yeah i, I mean let me pull up the bracket so these uh people watching can see what the hell is going to be going on but i mean like kabo said you know that the top eight we got from wednesday was mind-blowing i mean you look at here right off the rip deoxy's falling to t-seed you got yep. Ray Lakers coming in here, Forever King, and their star, a player that was very, very worried about this entire top 16 bracket caboose. He yeah. thought he was going to get washed in the shore. But look, he's in top eight loser side, man. You're going up against yeah, Cyclone right. and then King Gambler versus Star Charger. Absolute nuts. And you can send those invites right. out too without getting into that winner side uh, and spot here. <laughs> Destroyer, I think me and you and uh, everybody yeah, in chat right me. now, it's me, we all need to say a big happy birthday huh? to Wake Up Fatal Blows in the chat, who says their birthday was yesterday. Shout out to right, you. All Thanks right. for tuning in. All right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, you piece of shit. Yeah, I'm not right, pressing one. one underway here between T Seed and Unbearable Skill and Unbearable gonna be rocking the cool out. That's interesting. Uh, Unbearable Skill usually goes with the Tremor. Usually plays like uh, he's got like another wide cast of characters that he plays. Kind of straying away from the Kung Lao. So seeing Unbearable Skill bounce back to his uh, to his homeboy here. This is pretty exciting. This is like the character Unbearable is known for, Caboose. Is the Lao, the Kung Lao Kung Pao. Chicken. Very nice. Very nice. Yo, big shout out to AK for the gifted subs. If anybody's subbing and following and all that, even if we're not seeing it at the very moment, we do want to say we appreciate your support. And right now, Unbearable Skill looking to close out this round. Oh, but nicely done there from T Seed. He slows down the time. There's Bro. the acid ball. Gets the low. Oh my but god. He wasn't he had the and oh over connects. He's dropping so much right now, Caboose. What is this? Scrambled eggs right before our eyes. Oh, wow. But the overhead is going to take it. T Seed staying alive. Wow. Proving to, <laughs> proving to everybody that he can stick around and compete with the best. Listen, it. it might be his connection, but I think he he's, he truly ascended, Caboose. This player has truly ascended. The various events he's played in, I mean, overhead. this guy's going crazy now. He's switching sides like crazy. He gets the low slide. Do you think his hair is turning blue? Huh? You think his hair is turning blue? He's going super saiyan? If you mind it. Oh, shit. Oh, you want the cross up, but TC doesn't get it. He gets caught in the air. Unbearable skill now. Gonna find some momentum. He's gotta be really careful. TC has a lot of meter to spend, and he's gonna use a breaker. And there we go. Wow. Unbearable skill. Tying it up. And what just happened there was that unbearable skill, you know, he's going for that stagger string a lot, but this time he com he committed to the full string. And T Seed actually thought he was gonna stagger it and ended up getting opened up. Very unfortunate because T C could have been up one game to zero here, Caboose. Sir, right now, unbearable skill holding on to this corner. Unbearable totos? Be holding on to the Totos. This is a punish. This could spell the end of the game, Destroyer. Is it going to? And indeed it will. Wow. Unbearable kill. Takes that first game, showing off the tech with Kung Lao. What a very, very um 
the way unbearable skill just turned the tides of battle there in the blink of an eye was kind of scary you know t seed started off extremely strong he was literally about to take the entire round the game to uh, go up one to zero and just like that unbearable skill he flips the switch this man went into fucking shoot in pipo mode and cleaned the house with this dude no doubt about it destroyer really good stuff there from unbearable skill but as you mentioned t seed was a hit away he was very close to closing the game out himself and you can absolutely see a scenario where he finishes and we could see this set go to game five who knows who knows we'll see though good low gonna tag him out of nowhere a variable skill kind of just taking a step back waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike but just as i say that t seed activates the slow motion caught by that dive kick even as slow as it was Ooh, you saw that dash push he said do slide. not pull up on me buddy uh oh block that time no punish tc's trying to mix this dude into another dimension caboose so far it's been working destroyer again the slide is connecting tc seemingly using that almost to an effect where he's yoloing it but it's it's just like an element of skill involved i don't know how to explain it here we go so okay, no basically what it is that that string he's doing right it's like one of the fastest mid overheads in the game and the fact that he has that low slide that's just as fast as that overhead i think that's like a true 50 50 right there yeah you're, there, there's no fuzzing that you gotta like true guess whether he's gonna go low or overhead and, and once he conditions you with that low if unbearable you see he's getting opened up by that overhead now Smart stuff there from DC, who could have gotten whip punish with this opportunity, but now unbearable skill, who's gonna find some hits. What's for breakfast? The pressure, the chip. Whoa, that was ballsy. That was ballsy right in front of his face? This man trying to give him the ball saw deluxe. And unbearable skill chips out, ties up these rounds. Let's it's see. weird, you're looking at this and it doesn't One feel like unbearable skill is staying in it, but he just chips away your life bar. Next thing you know, he takes that oh! round. Oh, oh now. He micro up the jumping? What was that unholy tech? I don't think I've ever seen that before. I guess yeah, he he, re he realizes that Reptile's uh, jumping attack it doesn't have the best, you know, hurt box. Really took advantage of that right there. Man, dude, this character, Kung Lao. Seriously, Kung Lao chips Wait, away at your pin? life bar so much. The armor and all the punish. Okay, he's here's still the alive. breaker. He's still alive. TC's got to find something. He's on the Ooh. magic pixel and he gets caught. He got a little carried away at the end there. A little too antsy. And just like that, unbearable skill puts a stop to him with the hat tosses. Beautiful stuff. It's interesting, Destroy. This is the second game in a row where I feel like that first round was all T-Seed. Like, it, it felt like, oh my goodness, this is about to be a mop. And then next thing you know, after the loss of the first round, Unbearable Skill wakes the fuck up and he's ready to go from yeah. then on. It he's was like two in a row now. It was like he had a Shibden crawling out of his pipo. I think so, he might have. Man, but, you know, like you just mentioned, Unbearable being up two games to zero right now, T-Seed is on the verge of getting sent down to that lower bracket, which is going to be definitely... <laughs> that too. You think that might be a factor that might be affecting him here? That uh, might be. <laughs> that overhead attempt. Oh, he tried to dash in, gets punished for it, had to use his breaker. Oh, he was looking for the overhead. No whip punish on that, though. Terrible skill catches the low. Good knockdown. Now a very different start to this third game from the first two. TC hasn't been able to find an opening. Match point now for unbearable skill. Damn, dude, how do you feel about this? Like, TC started off so strong, and now everything is just kind of crumbling. I think the poop is right at the tip. This dude is, he can't hold it anymore. He's turtle headed in the heart. Nice tech. He 
tried to find an opening, gets interrupted though. Okay, there Ooh. we go. TC now gonna slow down time, gets the slide. Listen, he definitely still has a chance to make this happen. He's gonna that have to play. Coming. Whoa, but drops the combo, wasn't ready for that force ball to convert. This is gonna hurt, dude. Is he gonna go for a hard knockdown into the orbital hat? Of course he is. <laughs> why, why wouldn't he? Anybody in chat who's trying to donate to the prize pool, exclamation point, Macharino, and you can donate. Whoa. And JP now continues to close the Wait, wh why would he go slow motion? Oh my oh god! Oh my god, it worked. It worked. Holy he totally could have closed out with a little combo there. Yeah. All you need was a 55%. That man, he took a big chance because Unbearable went for the dive kick. If that would have connected, man, GG's. Unbearable starting off very strong here. Goes for the hard knockdown. TC right now wakes up running. Oh, no. Did you see that? This is going to hurt big time. He woke up what? running. Okay. I thought he just. I thought that? Yeah, I thought he just I thought we were gone. Okay, wait a second. He found an opening, but he drops the combo again, Destroyer. Not now. It's a lag okay. switch. He wasn't ready for it to, to work. The, it's the shit butt tag. Okay, he gets the acid ball to connect. He was able to do two NJPs. <laughs> okay, overhead. Going down time again. He's gonna back up. He's looking for the teleport. Oh my god. Off the acid ball in place. Oh, gets the jump and he didn't expect it. Oh my what god. What the fuck is happening, bro? Planet. What the fuck is happening? Reptile. What's crazy about this too is with bacon and sausage. And All right, bro, I time. haven't eaten anything. Stop. But what's oh, crazy shit. about that, that is this fucking dude, TC, could have been up two games to one right now if he would have took that first one. I hate to, like, reminisce in the past here, but I'm just trying to emphasize how, you know, this is very close right now. TC is, is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with unbearable skill. And the connection is looking real dookie. Be honest with you. Weird interruption in the connection there. Hopefully, we're not going to have anything like that happen again. Do you think that interruption in the, in the connection is what won him that game? The, the I wouldn't D say that. Call it the DC special? DC, Call it DC the DC special. DC was hitting unbearable skill when the lag switch happened or whatever. <laughs> oh, there's a punish off that slide attempt, and now unbearable skill is going to hold this corner. Breaker from DC. It's this thing where both of these competitors, once they get going, once they start applying that pressure, they're absolutely relentless. So it's about who gets to start that first. All right, he's getting a little too carried away with these low slides. First of all, he needs to find a way out of this corner. And I think that's going to be his saving grace here, Caboose. You're right about that. Runs up with the down poke, oh. tries to go for the overhead, but unbearable skill was ready for it. Tactics like that against a freaking demon like unbearable skill, you got to be very careful. The defense right now from this Kung Lao Kung Pao is looking insane. Goes for the It Man punches right to his mouth. Puts him in the corner, continuing the pressure. Bro, he spent the meter and he was still able to block. Did you see that? That's insane. And that really puts unbearable skill in an advantageous position. Because right now, T Seed only has one last opportunity to potentially break her. He wanted to slow down time, but unbearable skill said, hold that. And closes out this set. What are these combos, bro? He's going crazy right now. Chill. That he, was he, bonkers. He put him in the corner. Skill will be moving on. Yeah, he put him in the corner. He said, "Don't you ever lag on me, motherfucker." <laughs> that went that absolutely awesome. bonkers. Beautiful stuff right there, man. That's gonna be match number one. Now, Sir. we got a little problem here with match number two, winner side. So it turns out, Ray back yet? yeah, so I think Ray Lakers is coming home from work or something. And we are going to try to accommodate for him. That way, you know, we can get this tournament rolling. We, we wouldn't want to have to DQ somebody that earned their spot into the top eight. So what we are going to do to accommodate for his time is we're going to go ahead and run the matches in the lower side real quick. We're going to run the, uh, the two matches in the lower side. And hopefully by the time those matches are done running, Ray Lakers will be back. But... If Ray Do Lakers you know isn't, huh? I know he messaged you a while ago. No, he just messaged me like at six fourteen. And I think now it's six twenty three. So let's just okay. run those. Let's run those lower matches real quick, and then fingers crossed. By the time that's done, if he's not back, we will have to give him a nice juicy DQ straight into the lower side. No way. We got our next match underway. 
Now, like we said, no yes. way to accommodate for Ray Lakers, who is not home right yet, just yet. And that was on the winner's side. That would have been the next winner's match. So we're moving on into the loser's bracket right now until he gets back. So this match will decide somebody getting eliminated from Champs of the Realm's top eight. Elimination Nation about to go down. And just got skipped in five subs in the chat too. Okay, all right, all right. All right. All right. You know what? Shut down the stream. Bro. Where's my gifted oh, subs? I'm leaving. Where's it? I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ender start with the Baraitro going up against Cyclone. Cyclone has gained the reputation for the deadliest warrior predator in Mortal Kombat X. I don't care what anybody says. This dude is a beast with the warrior predator. Let's see what Ender Star is going to be able to do if he's going to be able to stop this savage. Yo, Snowbomb, so many people gifting subs. Thank you, guys. Sith and, and your gator bait. Thank you, you, guys. Are you serious right now? Thank you guys very, very much. And as we say that, Cyclone taking that first round. Round two. I'll tell you what, if we get 100 gifted subs, I'm going to dye my uh, my beard pink. Yo. Chat, you heard it here first. Nah, I ain't doing that shit, you crazy? Yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You crazy, bro? Imagine you get 100 gifted right now. That'd be crazy. They fell for the bait at that point. Man. Oh, okay, good low. Oh, hook. oh my god, the mix right now from Enderstar. Really trying to take this round. You know, this is the top eight. This is where these players need to show out. Uh, did we forget to mention, too, the Macharino is at like almost 600 bucks? Yeah, it's insane. Thank you, everybody who donated. I know there's a couple people in chat who said they oh, wanted it's at, to. It's, it's at 600. It's 621 right now. And Cyclone will close out a very tight game right there to take game one. Wow. I looked at the Majorino for literally two seconds and the game was over. What the fuck? What the hell? Cyclone going up game number one. That's going to be bad news bears for Ender Star because I feel like a character like Warrior Predator... It kind of shows like who knows and who doesn't know what the hell's going on. And right now, I feel like Ender Star doesn't know what the hell's going on. He might have to remove some poop from his butt because this variety show ain't moving how, how he usually moves. Oh, he's got some shit butt, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You really hate to see it. Round yeah. One. Fight. Yeah, I can I help you? Oh, the interactable at the oh, start? Good knockdown. Oh, he just let one out real quick before he got punished. <laughs> that shit slipped out. <laughs> We're getting an exact uh, representation of what TC is going through right now. <laughs> That's oh that's no, Predator! That's fucking oh. TC. Enderstar is really uh, missed the opportunity to combo there. Armor's through though, has this corner, tried to jump back, got caught, and that'll be the round. Oh no! Dude, you know he could have won that if he actually converted off of that fart he caught him with. Not converting off a of fart? It's showing some nerves right now, man, because these characters get stunned for like a whole fucking five seconds. Oh, we'll try to go for the low. <laughs> oh, there it get is. The There's the sun. He had a breaker, oh, though. Try to meter burn it as well for the fast startup on the ship, but, but unfortunately, it wasn't fast enough. Everything is just not going in Ender Star's favor here. He's stuck in this Dude, corner. That's the name of the move that when you hit the pause menu? Ship butt. Ship butt. I wish. <laughs> Oh, cross up is gonna work. Uh, he there, can win this. Was he not able to fart there? Oh, the wake of the armor. Oh, and the overhead, but he's not Wait. gonna finish. Oh, oh Lord, bro. Predator. Tight wins. finish there. By the way, if we get to $1,000 in the prize pool, the entire top eight will be getting paid right now. I think we can Bro, split defend. up maybe top, top four. Maybe. I think so. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
Predator. But seriously, guys, it really means a lot if you contribute to the match arena. This money is for these players who's bringing right, us this sure. entertainment, this hype. You know, these players that are, are devoting their, their time to just duke it out. Unlike some players, <laughs> they get tired after two hours. Let me stop. Shit. My bad, my bad. I didn't mean, I mean, yeah, okay, okay. I'm talking Damn. about Donatello, the Ninja Turtle. Oh, you're talking about the Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles. Round one, fight. So we're playing Injustice 2, we got the Ninja Turtles. Oh, I, well, how would you feel if we did an Injustice 2 tournament? But all Donatello. Or I mean, the ninja, only Ninja Turtles. Hey, an Injustice 2 tournament with only Ninja Turtles would actually be hype. I think that happened already, right? Like, maybe, Somebody maybe. Done that? 100% when the game first came when the Ninja Turtles first came out. I think that happened for sure we could do something like only guest characters We'll do champions of the realms teenage mutant ninja turtles <laughs> And it's gonna be Nickelodeon all-star brawl <laughs> Yo. One setup could close things out here. Oh And it's not gonna work cyclone guessed it right Man, this guy's puking. Fight. This is really unfortunate right now, man, because Enderstar, he, he put so much work to get to this uh, this moment, you know? And to get sent down to the loop. I'm counting him out already because he's getting fucking ragdolled. This is looking like The Undertaker versus a goddamn 12 year old. And there we go. He walked right into the shit butt destroyer. This is going to give Enderstar a combo. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do the reverse uh, curse. Oh, okay. okay. You're purposefully doing the combo. Yeah, look at this. He's going to win now. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, he's <laughs> going to win. He's going to win. Watch. I told you. I fucking told you he takes it. And they start going up one game to two. We got ourselves a match, everybody. We got ourselves a match, Caboose. Hey, wait a second. Wait. Wait. Oh, he what lost? Mean? What you mean? Oh, he lost. He lost. Oh, shit. Damn. And the stars eliminated? Caboose. So Cyclone's going to move on Why and uh, unfortunately has eliminated Enderstar. And you're right. I really would have loved to see some more of Enderstar in this tournament because even though Bo Raicho is the funniest fucking character to watch of all time, he's also still a sick character just from like a technical standpoint and the just, way that someone just, like Enderstar just can from, utilize. from what he smells like, he's a sick character. Exactly. Exactly. Sometimes you just, you know, and you just take it all in. Oh, no way. You're gonna be no? you're gonna be fucking exorcist puking the, the entire day. Oh, okay. listen, get get. See, I mean, I never tried it, so. You've never tried Baritro fart before. I never did. Oh, hey, one of my good friends in the chat is gifted no subs too. Way. Yo, hey, okay. listen, if you guys keep showing support, I'm gonna kick your asses. All right, in a video game. You heard it here. He said if you guys keep showing support, he's gonna dye his eyebrows blue next. If, wait, hey, oh. You heard it here, chat. If you if somebody gifts a hundred subs, I'll think about it. <laughs> He's gonna fucking think about it. He said think I about it. I do it, but I'll think about it. How about a you know? hundred gifted? You have to shave off your eyebrows. No, I heard that you can risk them not growing back. I'm not doing that shit ever. <laughs> oh, so I gotta try it. All right. Uh, so this go. I said I'm gonna try it. Go ahead and send out these next invites. Um, yes, sir. Are we doing, we're still sticking with the losers bracket? Yeah, I don't think Ray Lakers is back yet. Oh, wait, he's back. He's back. Invite Ray Lakers. Yeah, do Ray Lakers. He's back. Ray Lakers. All right. Good thing you uh you mentioned that. Yes, sir. Because he's back. All right. So we're going to... We're going to pop back up to the winner side of the bracket. Sorry for kind of the disorganization, but this is simply so that we can accommodate some of the players who weren't ready just yet. Luckily, they're not tired, though, so that's good. <laughs> um, and we're going to get Ray Lakers facing off against Forever King. You jinxed it. He just messaged me. He said he's too tired. He can't play. Hopefully, Forever King is able to join. You send Forever King an invite as well, just oh, in case. Oh, shit. We probably should have stuck with the losers match first, but... um. Oh, fuck. <laughs> let, let's go ahead. Uh, Hopefully, it works. I'm going to invite him. There's no reason he should not be getting these invites unless his fucking PlayStation's on potato mode or something. Immortal said 100 gifted, and, and I changed to red hair. What do you think, Destroyer? That would be pretty sick. 
I mean, somebody said again, 100 subs equals pink, uh, pink beard destroyer. Listen. What do you think? I'll fucking do it, cause I could just shave that shit off like the next day. That's what I'm saying. Your 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 uh, your facial probably goes pretty quick. It it unnaturally quick. Back in the camp. No, no, I'm putting the match on. Bro. We got a destroyer. Come on. I'm putting the I'm putting the match on. We got it. We got to do this. Listen for your destroyer. for your channel's sake. Destroyer, this is for the this is for the match arenas. This is for the players. <laughs> I think he wants I think he wants to fucking twerk, bro. I think he wants to genuinely twerk, chat. Listen. I ain't fucking doing anything anymore. I'm I'm leaving. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Match one underway between Forever King and Ray Lakers. Forever King using that sub zero. There's those overheads into the corner. Gonna set up with the ice clone. And JP. Look at this combo destroyer. What's the setup now? Low poke overhead. Wait, again. Am I okay? Lakers. Yeah. Ray Lakers. Is this gonna be a flawless right now? No, it's not. I don't know, but yo, people cannot fall asleep on Forever King. I don't know what it is with this dude, but he plays a fighting game. That shit sticks with him to the end. <laughs> Look at this dude. That shit sticks with him to the end of time, Caboose. Like, this guy is multi-talented across all Netherrealm titles. And it, it's like riding a fucking bicycle with training wheels at this point for this guy. For this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this no, piece of shit. Right. This hero is nuts. And Forever King is somebody you absolutely cannot count out of the tournament. Look at those cross up. Bro, he's My on goodness. him like a spider monkey right now. All over the place. Okay, he went for the low into the meter burn ice ball, and now it's Ray Laker's turn. What a combo. Look at the he damage. He down twoed him into that, bro. It's crazy that that one can sometimes connect. Oh, oh it shuts down the interactable. Have you ever seen Raiden's down two combos in the corner? They converted to forward yeah, one two. Uh, and they're ridiculous? Yeah, I gotta show you them one day. Can we get a Go Gators in the chat? What? Huh? You like the he fucking gators? The oh. He the he asked politely. Alright, so you don't want to say it, so fuck you. <laughs> Tries to go for the overhead. The demon push. Getting him out of the corner. <laughs> oh, nice punish actually on the uh, ice clock. Oh my god, that stopped the low slide. That was insane. Low slide startup is so freaking fast. Probably one of the fastest startups in this game. And to see it get shut down, that's like a miracle right there. Oh. Oh, that trade is always going to be a winning trade for Sub Zero. It doesn't matter what MK game it he is. He might be dead. To he might be dead. Oh my god. I shot him right in front of his face and meeting him with it. Disgusting right there. Beautiful Sub stuff Zero. from Forever King taking that first game in style. Speaking about style, can we talk about this Russian outfit he's got? No. Can't talk about it. <laughs> Not like. Can you imagine this dude pulling up in Call of Duty? <laughs> Yo, they could totally put like a special there forces a character in Call of Duty as like one of the operators. Like, why is Jax or, like, Johnny Cage or Sonya not showing up in Call of Duty right now? That's a good question, man. We're, right now, they're throwing in some fucking crazy characters. They put the friggin' uh, the Titans from Attack on Titan Yo! In, in, in Call of Duty. they did! What the hell is that? Eddie Yeager. Sub Zero. Eddie Yeager. My daughter's bleeding, Eddie Yeager. She would in pipe. She would in pipe it in Yega, my daughter. <laughs> Round one. Fight. I didn't watch all the season three bullshit of it. I heard it got crazy. I heard I all the. Any, I, I heard all the. I haven't watched any anime actually. I haven't watched anything. I've never consumed content in my life. <laughs> I don't even know what a television is. Huh? Never. All right. He took it too far. <laughs> oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm surprised uh Ray Lakers is not playing his his infamous tremor. Ray Lakers is very, very known for the crazy tremor that he wields. 
And just watching him go with the possessed Kenji. Okay, good teleport. Did you see that? That was reactions and a half. Oh, what? Oh, he actually got away from the ice I, uh, How oh. did he get away from that ice cold caboose? I really have no idea. His knees were right on that shit. <laughs> I saw that pose he was in. Bro, look at the background real fast. Look at this dude fighting the fucking wild dogs. Look at this guy fighting Wait, the wild done. dogs. He's fucking missing every bullet, bro. This guy's a clown. <laughs> oh, they got him, bro. He's getting fucking mauled. Oh, nice interactable in the corner there. Ray Laker's taking the round. Ray Laker's taking the round and fucking Giovanni's getting mauled by the dogs in the background. Somebody said that the, that the prize pool just got real. Oh, shit! Somebody put 400 on that! Wait, what? Somebody put 400 on the prize pool. We're, up, we're over $1,000. Oh. My. What the hell? God. An epic figgy? Yeah. That's no. it. Kaboo, start twerking, man. I gotta start twerking. Start twerking, man. Alright, put, put me on the camera right now. Very much appreciate that. That was really kind of you, uh, Figgy. Thank you so much. No, yeah, seriously, dude. You don't understand how much this helps. And just the simple fact, like, I, I swear, this see, console gaming league is just a mu as much as a part of this tournament as they always are. Today, you know, even though they're not... We didn't, we didn't reach out to them. That's why they didn't spawn. I 100% feel they would have sponsored if we reached out to them. But we, we wanted to just, like, throw this thing real quick. And seeing the community bump this up to $1,000, bro, that, like, if I was an emotional person, I'd fucking cry probably. <laughs> no, that was unbelievable. Thank you guys so much once again. Sorry that we've kind of missed the wow. commentary on that hype set here between Forever King oh, and there's Ray there's a set going on? Right now. Forever King's got the corner, and he's looking to potentially come back, gets the overhead, and he gets that ice ball to land. I think Ray Lake has made the wrong read there, or the wrong reaction, I should say. The jump in, the champ into the low, and Ray Lakers will close it out, tying the set up 1-1. Oh my god. We're getting a lot of frame drops right now. Oh shit, yeah, I see that. But, it just cleared up. Are we good? We should be. Okay, it looks good. I think somebody's downloading porn, bro. Go, yo, Spanky Doodle. Oh my god. Stop the downloads, fam. I'm so pissed off with this. I'm so sick and tired of Spanky Doodle, man. Spanky Doodle, stop the downloads, bro. Please. We got. We're trying to run a tournament here, bro. Oh no, bro. We're getting DDoS. So we gotta end the tournament chat. We gotta continue this uh, next year on this exact date. All right. All right. I'll see you next year. See you next year, destroyer. Could wake up. Yeah, no, it, uh, refresh the stream if anybody's having any troubles. I don't know what that it was. It should be okay. It's okay on my end. Nice jump kick there from Ray Lakers. Trying to push Forever King into the corner, but Forever King going to get the cross up. What's he trying to do to set up here, Destroyer? Watch out for that ice clone. Watch out for those ice balls. Oh, nice push there with the demon. George of the jungle, watch out for that ice clone. Yeah. But that oh, caught him out of the air with that. Wow, the overhead meter burn. That, really that move, around. I would never Round agree two. with that move, bro. Five. The hitbox on it, the way it slaps people down to the ground, splats them, and it covers such a wide range, bro. It's so messed up. Dude, it's like so messed up, dude. Dude, it's like wowzer. The teleport, but he's gonna slide right out of there. Nobody connecting damage here. Just a bunch of town folks happening. Oh, good read! Got an on that? Yeah, he conditioned his ass heavy. 
okay, but this is where Forever King excels. This is where he uses Microsoft Excel. Big 38%. He's gonna block. Oh, gets caught by that teleport kick. One hit will Yo, do he it survived. To yeah. That chip out. Dude, they really have to hold that, unfortunately. He should have been using PowerPoint and not Excel. You're right. You're actually right about that. I, don't, I really don't know what he was thinking. Yeah, because now he's going to find himself in a, in a match deficit here, you know, being down 2-1 against a player like Ray Lakers. That is not the place you want to be. Because even if, you know, this is if Forever King manages to take a game here and go up 2-2, Ray Lakers still has the opportunity to make that character switch to, uh, you know, Big Daddy it's Tremor. Tremor. <laughs> What happened? Tremor came on the mic. He had something to say. Oh, I didn't hear it. He had something to say. Round one. Fight. Starting off, getting the first hit. He's going to get those two bars of meter. Tries to over the throw, but the grab tech. Wait, speaking of Tremor, look who picked him. That's right, Forever King. You're right. Wow. Actually. I don't know why that didn't just hit me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was could like... we end up seeing a Tremor mirror? We could. If, if King takes this, we could potentially see a Tremor mirror. Good low. Goes with the staggers. This is going to be a lot of damage. 31% Ray Lakers tries to go with the pressure and then down two. Knocking his boots off. Jump in. Oh, gets that overhead slam to work. That was extremely oh, ballsy. Ballsy. Did you just see that interruption from Ray? Oh my god, did you see that cross? <laughs> yeah, I don't even I don't even know what's happening. I that's just a boring behavior there from Ray Lakers, and he should apologize immediately for even going for that. He did it again! He did it again on the on the stream, live on the stream on the airwaves. Man him! Good block on the overhand. He's going to flex up. Tries to run under, but doesn't get anything. I was going to say, he needs to start going for more overheads. When was anybody going to tell me that Possessed Kenshi is actually secretly pre-patched Batman in Justice 2? That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> if you're a piece of oh, shit. He's done there. Rayleigh is trying to close this out. Forever King. Oh, got a ground pound. Armor's up, and that's not going to be enough. Ray Lakers will close that game out and finish it up with a sick 45% combo. But Forever King is not out of this tournament just yet. That is going to be sending him down to the lower side where he is going to have to potentially face off against either King Gambler or Star Charger. Yeah. Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Guardians of the Galaxy. He's in the uh, tournament. He is? Yeah, did you hear me? Went bang, 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 You know? Oh, so now you're trying to get the entire tournament copyrighted with right. that goddamn right. song, huh? I planned this whole time. That's Holy why I wanted to even start doing this with you. Shit. Yeah? That's why oh. I started Champion Realms with you in the first place, was because that's where I wanted, I wanted to get to this point, and then inevitably so sabotage everything. So you can do that. Everything. So you can do that. You want to know what's exactly. crazy right now, dude? Looking at this bracket, let me go ahead and save and pull it up. But this is putting us with a winner's final featuring unbearable skills and Ray Lakers. That's crazy. That's that pretty nuts. Yes, sure. That's pretty nuts. What's uh, what's Star Charger's thing again? Star Charger, Star Charger fucking 48 or... Is it 28, I think? So it's a number there. Hold on. Not too sure which number it is. I think it's in the challenge. If you look at the challenge, the number's there. Pretty sure. Oh, because it says Descartier in the, in the challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. 28. Fuck. Yeah, you didn't change it. <laughs> God damn it. No. You know what? Fuck it. I'll drive.
Fuck it. Yeah, it's 28. It's 28. I remembered. All right. Check out this bracket here. Bearable skill going up against Ray Lakers. We had to do the Ender Star versus Cyclone a little early because uh, Ray Lakers needed a little time to finish his poop in the toilet. That's right. And then we have King Gambler versus Star Charge. It's about to go down right now. This should be interesting. This should be interesting. King Gambler has been popping off with the Devora piece, man. On Wednesday, yes. you know, he, he had some of the most solid play we've seen throughout the entire Top 16 Invitational. And he's going to be going up against Star Charger. Star Charger is definitely a veteran when it comes to Mortal Kombat X. The dude's been grinding with that katana for quite some time. And I'm just curious to I mean, see Star how Charger King Gambler is going to deal with it. From the tournament destroyer. Yeah, we yeah. We got to make sure people are aware. That was bananas. Would have wanted any other way. It's always hype commentating any of these Netherrealm games alongside you, my dude. Yeah, it's, it's it's funny. It's a funny time, man. Especially if you open up these tournaments like with the fucking top siete and shit. It's GG's. Bro, if you do that again, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to keep it under control. It's fucking GG's. King Gambler versus Star Chart. How do you feel about this one? I'm really intrigued to see how this is gonna go down. Cause like you said, King Gambler has been putting in work, running a clinic with this Devora. But as I said, Star Charger is the one who was able to eliminate Deoxys. And this Katana, this character, Deoxys was the one to say it, is broken. So who knows what's gonna happen? We got a prediction? Yes, we do. All right, we got a prediction. Put your channel points! Sorry, sorry for yelling. Oh, come on. Thank you, Doodle. Get it together. Fix the fucking names, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, every fucking time. Every time. I can't believe it. I'm really, I'm fed up. Oh, good pressure here. King Gambler right now with the Broodmother, which is interesting because Ooh, what's the range look, on that? His Broodmother is ridiculous, but I feel like he was getting a, a, a lot more success with the uh, with the Swarm Queen. But hey, he's the player. I'm the commentator. We're gonna see what happens. He blocked the unblockable attack. No way. No way. Wow. Got under the interactable. Was able to still punish and convert. King Gambler is showing stuff off with Sephora. I feel like we've never seen before in MKS. I've never seen it before. I've never seen any. I can't. You know what? I can't believe it's not butter. I I, I can't. She's kind of jumping no back way. here. Gets an entire plane engine thrown at her face. No way. <laughs> no way. Look at this back and forth. This is what you call footsies in Mortal Kombat X. Something that a lot of people would contest and say this game doesn't have. Good down two. Oh, oh, the float almost canceled and punished him for it. That would have been sick. These guys are playing heavy mind games on each other right now. Clearly, they are gaming. This is, this is like the chicken shawarma versus the fucking beef shawarma. Okay, the chicken shawarma wins that matchup. Oh, come on. Against the beef shawarma? Yes. 100%. How about the mix shawarma? One in the chat for chicken shawarma, two in the chat for beef shawarma, three in the chat if you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you always gotta make sure you have that variable. You, you ruined the whole fucking question with that one. <laughs> you gotta stop throwing that one in. Oh, the entire no conversion though. The stagger, bro. King Gambler? It is This dude is seriously a pro MKX player already. Like, what the Everybody fuck? Everybody type of three, bro. Everybody, dude. Pay your respects. <laughs> so many pieces of shit in the chat, man. What the fuck? Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, man. You guys kill me. Hey, but you know that that's one of the that's one of the reasons why I love coming through and doing these uh 
these tournaments with everybody because yo the memes that grow out of these fucking tournaments are hilarious i'm telling you how many people in the chat for whatever reason latched on to 41 percent one bar <laughs> like you know what Why? i'm saying All right, here we go. Can King Gambler keep up this momentum here? Going up game number one against Star Charger. Wow, just backing up. Kind of pacing himself flawlessly. Fla I can't even speak. <laughs> I said flawlessly. <laughs> he, he made that re flawlessly. Let's, 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 you know let's, let's leave. I want to speak it nonstop 41% one bar in the chat. Nonstop. Now you're taking it too far. Just go get the uh, Shibin and Pipo. Get, yo, get, 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 get the Shibin and Pipo copy pasta and just put that shit real quick. Good staggers here. Oh, that down poke didn't even touch her, but touched her. What is this character's hurt box, bro? Oh, oh, that's a punish off the down two attempts there. King Gambler had the right idea, but the wrong timing. Round two, fight. Got the corner control. Boston fans like a maniac right now. Having a little projectile war King Gambler. I don't think this is the position he wants to get in against a character like Katana. That projectile war, I feel like Katana. Yeah, Katana's gonna get that upper hand in, in that department. That's right. You always gotta be really careful trying to do that against Katana. Because as you said, it's very much a winning trade for Katana. But not only that, as we saw earlier, this girl Katana can get full screen combos going, but that was a ridiculous corner combo. Bro. With the guaranteed chip there from King Gambler. You know Gambler's been grinding this game. He's playing so clean. Star Charger's not even ready for this shit. He is up the round, but man, once he gets in on your face with the Swarm or the Broodmother Devora, it's such a clusterfuck. And hey, it looks like these uh, these projectiles are starting to become winning trades for King Gambler. He decided to just say, fuck it, you know what? I'll hedge my bet. Fuck it, I'll it. Good pressure here. Star Charger right now getting full quarter carry. Gonna have a very strong position. Tries to walk back, not letting him jump out. I respect it, instant air fan, bro. I'm blaming that on the, on the fight stick that he's using. I will say one thing that I love about this set, not to jinx it in any way, but you mentioned, you know, King Gambler clearly playing like he's been grinding. And same with Star Charger. I don't think we've really witnessed a drop combo. Both of these guys are playing to absolute perfection with their respective characters. And Star Charger will close that game out and tie up the set. Yeah, what really turned the tides of battle there was those instant air fans, man. Keeping them at that, at that low range that he was putting them and just the execution being so clean. Mama huevo. <laughs> Devora, aka Mama Huevas, couldn't move. Oh, is it Mama Hueva? It's Mama Huevo. I'm just making up words at this point. All right. You can. Katana. Wait, no way. Top siete. Oh, shit. Top siete? You serious? Mira, puta, the fucking Mama Huevo, maldita mierda, Mama Huevo, Mama Huevazo. You didn't tell me you let him in the studio, bro. Hey, he's always welcome here. I'll smoke that blood with you after the tournament. Oh, shit, okay. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Game three underway right now between King Gambler and Star Charger. This has been a, a battle of attrition, hell of a back and forth between these competitors, both showcasing the tech with Devora and Katana. <laughs> Look at that. That combo was so long, Bl Blanche had to walk away for that shit. Blanche had enough of this shit. Look at this. She's like, walking away. Out of here. I'm fucking leaving. No, they should have given her the, the voice from uh, Mike Wazowski. I'm watching you, Mr. Wazowski. Always watching. Fucking Devora. 
I hate the Vora. <laughs> She's in the corner. She's fucking doing the play by play herself. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. If, I don't, if they don't do something like that in the next game, bro, <laughs> that's a missed opportunity. Have like. Like another Blanche just fucking mumbling in the background while they fight. That'll be a 10 out of 10, bro. Holy shit. Oh, nice jump in there from King Gambler. I can't look at Blanche the same no more. <laughs> She's standing there like, this fucking Devora getting her shit all over the place. I have to clean it up. Somebody got to do the Blanche Brutality. If you do the Blanche Brutality, oh, oh shit. shit! Why'd he toss her like that? That was disrespectful. Oh my god. Look at that combo destroyer. That was going on for about three and a half years. <laughs> Dude, look at the damage on Devora. Like, that should say enough. She's got fan slices going all over her fucking neck. So it's like they're dissecting an insect. Oh, dissecting. I see what you said. Die insecting. What? Dissecting. Is that how you say the word? Die insecting? The insect? Dissecting the dissecting? All right, Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> oh, that could have been a punish there. Destroyer King, Ga King Gambler missed it. Star Charge though with a ton of meter now. What's he gonna oh, do with it? He's gonna toss a barrel of apples right at her face is what he's gonna do with it. Flash parry there from King Gambler. Damn, dude, they killed Blanche right next to the fucking cart of watermelons too. That's brutal. That was really disrespectful, honestly. Oh my God, the down bro. That's gonna do it, King Gambler. One of two games to one on Star Charger? Bro, I cannot stress enough I cannot emphasize enough how bizarre these matches have been. I mean, you were talking about it on Wednesday, Caboose. You know, there, there was players that ended up advancing that took out players that ended up losing to the same player. And it was just like a triangle of battles that is just like, it's not making sense right. here, bro. Right. It's not making sense here. It, all of this, like this entire top 16, if you were to be a betting man and wanted to, you know, put your money down on something, I'm sure you would have screwed that yourself you, over. Whatever anybody would consider to be kind of the obvious way that the top 16 would play out based on just looking at it at face value, none of that is what has gone down over these last two days. Destroyer. The Oxys eliminated from the tournament, which I don't think anybody would have expected. And right now, King Gambler is looking to potentially take down the person who eliminated the Oxys in the first place. Is that going to happen though? We'll have to wait and see. King Gambler up 2-1. Look at this. And what blows my mind, bro, is he's doing this with Brood Mother. You know, this is shades of like what Cyclone does with Warrior Predator. It's a character you never fucking see me pick. And to see it getting this far in a top 16 as stacked as this tournament is, man, this is crazy. Playing very patient here, avoiding all of these fans, keeping up with the with the crackhead pace of, of Katana here. That down two is gonna close it out, Star Charger. One round away. I'm tying things up here, two to two. Bringing us to a game five. Again, I, I still can't believe we hit a thousand dollars and epic figgy. Thank you so much again, dude That's still like in the back of my head. It's absolutely insane. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable, dude At the end of the tournament, we're gonna have to shout everybody out and read all the messages too, bro We have to for sure for sure nice anti cross up there for King game. You gotta you gotta read it in the Mike Wazowski voice All right, I'll read it in the Mike Wazowski Always watching <laughs> oh my god. What happened? Dude, wake up. That shit's ridiculous. I picture you as an old lady with the fucking uh, old slug when you do that shit. <laughs> I'm commentating with an old slug. That's me. Okay, wait a second. King Gambler needs to close out this round. He needs to do it now. He's gonna Fancy. chip him out. One more, one yeah, more. Go down to it in the air. You think Star Charger shaking in his boots right now? In his booties? 
I think right now there's a, you can, if you looked at Katana's ass, you're gonna see a little bit of shit sticking out of the underwear there. Ew! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, the dude working on the shield in the back even had to take a second to, to, to comprehend. He said, what Kaboosh just said? It's not what I just said, it's what's going on. Yeah, he had to look at it. <laughs> You say, yo, this bitch got poop in her butt. You got shit butt. I gotta finish making the shield. <laughs> not, Cordo's not gonna be impressed. <laughs> no, 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 Cordo. No, 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 Cordo, Cordo, no! You don't want to say 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 Why you gotta finish in style like that, man? You waste my time. Shit. Katana wins. Dude, that got way too wild at the end there, man. Total really, uh, really lost it, huh? Oh hey, my god. Sense. You, you, I made a reference and he, he thought that was a cue for him to go crazy. A new kid. Yeah, sometimes you gotta watch out for that guy. I mean, that's what happened. When you're as, as annoying as Kotal Khan, your skin starts to turn the color of Kotal Khan. Like the greenish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You start to look like him. Okay. When you're as annoying as that, as that motherfucker. Okay. You didn't know that? Yeah. I knew that. Round one, fight. All right, I'm gonna set you up on a hot date with Devora. See how you like that. You, you son of a bitch. I'm, I'm gonna put my boy on a blind date with Devora. Imagine you pull up to the fucking table and you spill maggots everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's plus. Look at this pressure right now coming from King Gambler. Go for the throw. Bro, I'm not even paying attention to this match, and this is like one of the closest ones that's ever happened. This is insanity. Maybe we gotta start watching a little closer here because we're on game five. This is lower bracket. It really pains me to say that one of these players is getting eliminated by the end of this match. They're both getting eliminated and I'm taking the prize money. All right, let's do it. Star Charger right now has the life deficit, gets the jump in. King Gambler really wants this round. Go for the breaker. Oh my God, he gets tagged. The down poke, that's gonna be hit advantage. Put the armor, use his two bars. Bro, this is gonna be so much damage, and he's gonna set him up for for maybe a little bit of chip pressure. Oh, good Wait. stuff there from King Gambler with the delayed wake up. He's gotta be so careful. The down two anti air has worked so well. King Gambler on match point. And what's crazy is that I feel like Star Charger has that cemented in his brain that he can go for the float cancel to avoid the down two. But anyone's right. down two but Devora's, right? Because that down two reaches to the sky. That's right, those tendrils. Nice jump back punish there from Star Charger. The breaker. Air projectile connects. Look at this patience right now. King Gambler just walking back to the corner. He's got to be careful. If he gets too, you know, in there, Star Charger is going to have a party. Oh, punish? Oh, he got that low trap. Notice how as soon as King Gambler gets that down one on hit, he just goes straight for those mids, that shoulder attack. That's right. A lot of meter for Star Charger to work with right now. Oh, no, and he's gonna get things started. No. Oh no. Breaker. Star Charger's poop is looking very violent right now. One hit on either side, Destroyer. One hit on either side. Can King Gambler close this out? No, there what? they are. Final game, final round. How did that jump back even work? Nice down two, you know, you said it. He's the one character on the roster that cannot allow Katana to float around like that. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? That's right. 
The down okay. one tries to interrupt everything and anything here. The jump back, though, Star Charger keeps continuing to go for this zoning, which is not a bad idea. Yo, if, if there was a time to be as sweaty as possible with zoning, it's now in Star Charger. He's going crazy with it. This has got to be the most focused set we've seen for Champions of Love Destroyer. And right now, Star Charger finding an opening, looking for some big damage. That's going to hurt. Star Charger also almost has a break. Oh, geez. The overhead, and that'll do it. Star Charger still in this. Eliminates King Gambler from Champions of the Realms. Top eight for Mortal Kombat X. Stop the music, Spanky. Stop the music. Dude, that was ridiculous what we just witnessed. That was a back and forth. And even though, unfortunately, King Gambler is going to be uh, getting eliminated there. Uh, he is going to get paid. Top The entire top eight is going to get paid because we did hit that $1,000 right. mark. Yep. And I just want to say, man, shout outs to King Gambler, bro. He showed up and put in some crazy work with a variation of, of, of Devorba that is extremely underutilized. And just, you know, watching him go to town, bro, it was a treat. It was a treat. I wasn't a expecting treat. a Devorba of that caliber, you know, really coming really through. Really good stuff for both of those competitors putting on a show for this tournament. We've only had one 3-0 take place today, and even then, it really didn't feel like it. This top eight has been hype. It really has been. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the bracket here so we can see what's going on with the, uh, the winner's final that's going to be approaching here in just a second. Give me one pipo. Yes, sir. All right, that should be good. So check this out. We got Unbearable Skill versus Ray Lakers. That's going to be coming up next. We got TC versus Cyclone. And we got Forever King versus Star Charger. Like I said, I've been saying this the, the entire tournament, man. This was never going to be predicted. The way this shit ended up playing out, man. These, these players and everyone who ended up where they are. No way you could have predicted this. No way. But I think we all no way. I think we all need a quick break after this madness. So we're gonna we're gonna so. yeah we're gonna take a quick five minutes. Nobody go anywhere. If you go anywhere, I promise you, I'm gonna fucking drop kick you like Aiden from Dying Light Two. <laughs> don't go don't anywhere. Go anywhere. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll back. You calling my home? They're coming. All of them. They're on their way. All of them are coming right now. Betrayer, Ray Lakers against Unbearable Skill. And Ray Lakers going to stick with the Kenshi pick. This could have potentially been a Tremor Mirror, but this, it's not going to be. This is Winner's Finals, FYI. Winner's Finals, everybody. So get hype. I want to see hype in the chat right now. Sorry. I got carried away. If there isn't a wall of hype in the chat, I don't care if it's my emotes, Destroyer's emotes, or whoever's emotes, but if there's not a wall of hype in the chat right now, I promise you Destroyer's gonna shut down the stream and he's gonna get you guys all a, a, a peanut butter puke jam made by Bo Raicho. Yeah, if you guys don't drop a wall of hype, the stream's gonna start getting uh, frame drops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you guys gotta keep putting in the hype in the chat. Otherwise, we're gonna have some we're gonna have some frame drops in the chat. So looking at this here, we haven't seen Ray Lakers go the tremor yet. Or did we see him play tremor on Wednesday? I don't remember. I can't remember either, but we haven't seen that tremor today. That much is for sure. And I'm really wondering why, but nevertheless, this possessed Kenshi has been working wonders for him. As he takes that round. Unbearable skill, though, gets through the demon and finds himself a corner combo here. That was kind of crazy, bro. The way he did forward 1-2-1 one, one, through the demon. Unbelievable. But Ray Laker's still going to get some distance. But close, closes it in. I understand, you know, Possessed Kenshi is a very versatile character. He can go with crazy mix-ups. He can go with crazy zoning. But at that moment, I feel like Ray Laker should have played a little bit more defensive keep away. Because going in on unbearable skills, Tremor? You're asking for trouble, bro. Oh. 
corner, but Rainlaker's trying to fight his way out of it. The throw gonna connect. Reports, gets another throw, but it's tech. Oh, the teleport, he had a punish. Yeah. He didn't believe, bro. We've seen a decent amount of that today. I guess it's a little bit harder. There's just that aspect of online tournaments where it can be a little more difficult. But look at this combo to the story. He's dead. And that's the king. 40%. 40 this man spawned that combo out of his ass and just decimated that life bar. Ray Laker's taking game number one over unbearable skill. That's going to be putting him in a very good position, Caboose. A very... You want me to say that? A very good... It's going to be a very good position, Caboose. Hey, what's it going to be? Tremor. Very good position. Okay. What's that? Don't tell me that. I, I'll, I'll exit the game right now and I'll go play Total War Warhammer. Round one. Fight. All right. Shut down the screen. Oh, wait. <laughs> This guy actually threatened to back out. <laughs> There's no way. No, no way. Look at these guys poking each other. It's like, like a fucking pillow fight right now. Good blocks. He's gonna go with the low crystal shatter. Let's go with a full stick of butter. Ray Laker's close to it. It's a lot of meter for both of these guys to work with. And a lot of blocking on both ends, which I love to see. Look at the defensive play here. Red. Okay, wait a second. Unbearable skill. He's going to spend the meter on the armor. Unbearable that avoids shit, but he oh. gets low gets hit with a low down one. one. He got low, real low, huh? He got low, get low. <laughs> that's, what it's, that's what it sounded like you were saying. <laughs> he said, get, you're not sure how you're going to get to the end of it. You know? said, get low, get, get low, low, get low, get low. To the window! I'm fucking dead, bro. I'm going to mute this part of the screen. I'm telling you. Oh, shit. Tries to get the jump in, but the down pull. I'm noticing something that's really a good tech that I see these really uh, high level players doing is they, they go with down pokes off of the, the jump ins and it completely avoids like the hurt box on the jump in, bro. Yes, did you just see the way that Ray Lakers ended that round? Such smart Bodied him. tech, utilizing both bars of meter to avoid a breaker to close out that game guaranteed. Ray Lakers up 2-0 and is playing efficiently. He gave him the guaranteed body bag special with some sour cream he on did. the side. Now it looks like Ray Lakers is gonna be up two games to zero, Caboose. Two games to zero. Again, something nobody in the chat would have predicted. This is the tournament of fucking wonders. What's unbearable skill thinking here, Destroyer? He's definitely thinking <laughs> what kind of totos he's gonna bring to the table now. He's gonna pull out Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Remember, everybody was bashing her voice. I thought her voice acting was fine. Everybody was bashing the voice it's acting. Remember? No. <laughs> she said, "Ronda Rousey here to kick your ass." Reporting for yes. duty. Whoa! Instead, unbearable skills does stick within the special forces family and is gonna pick Jax here, Destroyer. Wait, what? I don't even remember. Have we ever even commentated a Jax in any of the Champions of the Realms MKX tournaments we've done? We have. We have had to. 100%. Have we? Maybe. I feel like I don't remember it. Maybe. But okay, started things off. Ray Lakers with the throw. I feel like, because I think I'm variable streaming this. I feel like this is something that his chat influenced him to do. <laughs> they act right? on, huh? They're probably like, go Jax, go Jax, go Jax. 
This might bite him in the ass, though. We'll see. This is like uh, if you throw back to like Evo MK9 when CD Jr. got egged on by the crowd to play Rain. And he got bodied. He got bodied. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think that's what we're seeing go down right now. 40% That's plus in the frame too. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if you know, but that, that projectile he throws Jax, the, the purple, it's a mid and it's plus, like six, I think. Really good. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Bitch. Good. Yeah, he's good. Okay, nice the suplex. He missed the input for it as well. Because the thing is, some people have a ton of meter right now, and he's gonna start to utilize a little bit of it. Look at that damage. Ray Lager that is, is gonna get a breaker of his own though. He's gonna have a chance to break out of a, a deathly combo here. Right. He's definitely gonna hold on to it. Yep. But hold on to what can guarantee with chip. Oh, oh no. no! What a timing on that! Oh, what a wake up! What a wake up! Unbearable skill stays alive. He went with the overhead. That was kind of ridiculous. Like, of all the things. I can't believe it, Destroyer! I can't believe my eyes. What the overhead? Top of the point. Eyes. Nice tech. Okay, anti-air, buddy. Whoa! That was he not the combo he should have win for. Yeah, I respect the effort, but I, I think uh, he thought it was gonna be gonna be a grounded punch, maybe. Maybe looking for the trip guard, you know? Because that 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 so punch would have put him in the corner. But like the, the amount that he's been holding on the block, that chip damage starts to add up. Like, look at this. I mean, unbearable skill for a majority of this game has been blocking, but he's still, look at the life bar. He's been getting shipped to hell. And that, oh, not gonna do it just yet. I thought it would. Bear's gotta make a miraculous comeback, bro. Hey, he's certainly capable of doing it. He tried to GGs. spend the meter on the overhead, but Ray Lakers just waited, played patiently, expected something he could punish, and he closes out this set 3 0 to now move on into grand. Finals. That's insane, dude. I sound like a broken record at this point, but you know what I'm gonna say. The outcome of this tournament, I don't understand it anymore. Unbearable I skill getting either. sent down to the losers, bro. There's just no way. This is if we, we we say this all the time, but absolutely now more than ever, this is a tournament where I can't look at any of the people who are in this and predict what our grand finals is gonna look like. I can't predict who's gonna take the whole tournament. There is no way to predict it. There's nothing but wild cards, nothing but heavy hitters for the remainder of this top eight destroyer. 100% man. Um, Let me go ahead, update this bracket real fast. And you can go ahead and get these next invites out. Sure. We got, uh, coming up next, we got a juicy, a juicy fight going on. I think it's uh, Mr. TC. Oh, and TC and Cyclone. Cyclone. It's TC and Cyclone. I thought it was Forever King. I thought we might have had to do the uh, the room and shit. But here we go, yeah. man. Um, TC versus Cyclone. This match. I think they these two com competed in a first to ten before. I'm not too sure. Oh I'm, really? Yeah. I, I don't know if you remember, but when we were setting up the bracket, remember we had Cyclone and TC. Oh. There were right. two players that were gonna fight right off the rip, and I was like, right. I was like, I don't want to do that because I think they they've played in a in a first to ten before, and you know they probably have gotten lots of games and like it's like fighting yeah, a train a, a training party. Yeah, look at them now. They they eventually you're gonna have to run into each other. That's why in fighting game tournaments, man, it doesn't matter if your fucking mother, your father, your your, your sister, your grandfather's in the bracket. At the end of the day, they're gonna have to get killed in the tournament. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in the tournament, yeah. In the tournament, in Mortal Kombat. You really, you be really careful with the wording, you know. <laughs> All right. Fuck okay. it. Okay. That, look, you see the brain synchronization is getting a little bit away. I'm gonna have to eliminate you now. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to eliminate you now. Okay. TC versus Cyclone. This should be interesting. Have Have you been running uh, channel predictions and shit? 
Uh, I think my mods are on it. Yeah, my mods are on it. I was just about to do it because I wasn't sure if the mods were going to start it, but the mods are on that shit. Put up your channel points. Yo, somebody somebody must have bet their whole thing on Cyclone because somebody put 8,000 immediately oh my God. on Cyclone. So bet your channel points on who you think is going to win this set. T-Seed and Cyclone going down right now. And now that we're in that loose side of the bracket, do or die time for these competitors. Oh, look at that punish after he slows down time, jumps back, gets a big whip punish, and pushes Cyclone all the way to the other side of the screen. My goodness, right now, Destroyer, we might be seeing a flawless, and we will. Holy shit. What a way to get things started here. TC literally coming out the gates like a raging bull. Very nice. Gets him with the teleport. Just as cat would attack. Right? Oh, he timed that disc perfectly to go under it. That was very smart. From TC conditioning Cyclone to just get caught. One little punish to get things started. Just spitting all over the place. This guy's disgusting. I don't I don't know why the, the Lord didn't make Devora and Reptile a thing. I feel like that would have been the perfect relationship. Okay, you you you're wrong for that one. What am I not wrong? I'm yeah, wrong. No, for that. Oh, but am I not right? Wow, D Seed really dominated there in that game with this reptile. He had a rough go at it in the winner side against unbearable hey, skill. But aside from that, what T Seed has been capable of with Reptile is something that is definitely to behold. Yeah, Cyclone's gonna have to tighten it up, man. He's got a lot of loose screws going into this matchup here. You know, there was a lot of opportunities that TC just, just took control of and completely wiped out that life bar from Cyclone. But looking at this matchup, you know, on paper, if you kind of weigh out these characters' abilities, Kind of feel like they're they're a good matchup for each other, man. Predator's got the tools to really, you know, stop Reptile's pressure and the same vice versa. We got the fucking Loch Ness Monster back in this game now. Bitch, man. This is just, uh, this is MK12 was Fish that Man. What's that movie? Hellboy. Hellboy. Oh, you're right, actually. He does look like A sapien or some shit like that. I would like the uh, the fucking what, the sea of water. Is that what it's called? Mm. Can't remember that movie. Guillermo del Toro movie. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, tries to get the standing two one punish, but staggers it instead. Very good awareness coming from Cyclone. It's gonna go full in biz. This is gonna give him no chip damage, I believe, with the meter burn version. The shape of water. Wow! I know, right? That movie? Round two. Oh no, you're talking Holy about the game. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the movie. <laughs> okay, here we go. TC's gonna slow down time. Oh, gets caught still. No That's way. Oh, that jump kick worked. Bro, the active frames on that was insane. Beautiful. That's a lot of nuts! That's a lot of damage! Wow, Ooh. did you see that conversion? That was sick, bro. Look like a WWE suplex right off the top ropes. Dude came in with a double hand fist. Tries to go for it again, corpse hopping him. Uh, this first game was all TC, but the second game has been a complete 180. Breaker at the last second, TC needed it. Last ditch effort time. Wait a second, Destroyer. Hold on, hold on. He goes slow line. motion, this is dangerous. The disc is in the oh, air. That was so nuts! Oh, oh my nuts. god! What? That, oh my ah. god, what oh, is man. happening right now? I couldn't believe my eyes! That almost went to a fucking pixel situation there, man. Holy cow! Cyclone and TC really duking it out. And now you see why I didn't Holy want to put these guys in the first round, huh? Did you see that, Destroyer? There's bananas. I can you, that was incredible stuff that he slowed down time and he, he just at the, the perfect timing to dash in and avoid the disc projectile from Predator. And he almost closed it out, man. Oh my god. If TC closed that out, like, I would have lost my mind. Oh, what? 
TC's gonna switch right away off uh, that? You know, I always feel switching early is better than switching later. Because, you know, sure. say he goes to Lash at Cicada when it's in a 2-2 situation and that doesn't work out for him. He's doing it during the 1-1. That way, if this doesn't work out, he's most likely going to switch back to the Reptile. We'll see. This variation is sneaky, though, because that down one has hella range and it converts into the special. It's like an, you know, it's an, an Injustice hybrid move, bro. We haven't seen any Takeda during this tournament so far, but I remember the last time we Tanaka? did one of them game. I can't remember who it was who was playing Takara, but I remember Tanaka, that this Tanaka. character was like, that very tricky to deal with. It's because the like nobody's ready for down ones to convert into specials. Usually you're able to block, but for some weird right. reason, this variation here, his down one has so much hit advantage, the specials actually convert. Right now, Cyclone it's bizarre. Has been keeping speed at bay. He's yeah. gonna close out that round. Already, first impressions, man. I feel like the Reptile was the way to go. I, I mean, I just feel like simply based off the fact that even when Cyclone won, it was so close that it looked like TC was almost gonna rob the round. So I felt like, you know, the Reptile pick was always the right choice here. But hey, these guys are the ones competing. We're just commentating. And right now, it looks like TC's having a really good second round in full control. Yeah, that was really good. He, the thing he does not want now is for Cyclone to gain control here. He's got to be very careful. Gets tossed into the corner. Oh, my God. That was back two versus the Whiplash. And Whiplash won that trade. Good hard knockdown. He goes with the down poke. Tries to continue this crazy stagger pressure. Wow. Dash out of that TC oh my God. All in the world. He dropped the combo. And they get down two because Cyclone keeps it unbreakable. Bro, no, that Nothing was, out the game. That was I see, I, way I too TC sloppy at the end there, bro. Right away. TC's got to be switching to Reptile right away. The thing is, though, even then, that was even very then, close. He, a pick, he was so close to closing out the round. So he's very much no, keeping defend. up with Cyclone. But I just think that the Reptile pick might be better in general for what TC has been capable of. And it's been the character that he stuck with throughout throughout the entirety of the tournament so far. And there he goes. Yeah, he's going to go right back to Reptile immediately, not even wasting a second on it. Jesus, Pipo Shibiton, man. Round one, fight. All right. If TC can do this, this is going to be big big news bears here. Tries to activate the Predator bullshit. The Predator bullshit destroyer. Goes with the forward 1-2, back 2. Or forward 1-2, forward 2. I don't even know what the combos are anymore in this game. To be honest, I don't know any of the strings by heart here for MKX. You said you know all the strings by heart? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I've actually, I made this game. Cyclone on match Round point two. right now. Destroyer T Seed has got to dig deep. He's got to find whatever he did in that first game and activate it once again here. They didn't get that last second dodge. He did that under pressure in game two, Destroyer. Kind of falling apart a little bit here. Gonna stop that acid ball. Oh, shuts oh! down any advancement from Cyclone. This is where T Seed succeeds. Oh no, now Cyclone though. Gonna Listen, get a what big do you think this here. is? Stay back, buddy. The acid ball, okay. T Seed. T Seed can definitely do this, bro. He can definitely do this. He's gonna break her. No, he's oh, this, eat this combo is about to be so massive. Yeah, he should have. Oh my god, has to break her. Why did he not break her earlier? Caboose. I'm really not sure, but wait, but wait, Destroyer, he, he gets the slow motion he combo. Does this? Is he gonna be able to close out with this? Yes, he does, he's alive. Jeez, you maniac. He stays alive. Final round. What a way to stay alive. Does not drop the combo with all the pressure on the line there. TC, keep in control. It's, it's almost like TC plays even better when this dude's on the magic pixel. Dude, seriously. I mean, but look at this. Cyclone trying to get him in another setup right now. He's getting really comfortable in this set. Going with detonation setups out the ass, Caboose. 
rear. That acid ball is not gonna work. Slide works again. Gets caught by the back smack. Or the backhand, I should say. Okay, need to burn ice or acid ball. Oh no! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Get the overhead! What is it? That's the slide! That's that? No. That oh, it's not! That's no, you're that guy too! Oh the my shit! Back. Too! Kaboos! Oh How? my god! Reptile wins. This guy just mashed every fucking respect. thing what? on that down two. He just mashed. What the There's yo? What did he meter burn, bro? Kaboos! There was something that like I, I think he had a ball that was like off the fucking screen or something, and he stopped it for no reason. Predator. Uh, that really was insane, no, dude. Did he? Did he? Did, was that big brain just so he can get like pressure, more pressure? I don't know what the fuck's happening. I, mean, I, I don't, I don't know what's me, happening. If I'm in that scenario and I'm looking to close out happening. the game, I am absolutely mashing down two on that. He had to. He had to hail Mary it. Why is it that for the last three Bro, games, T Seed's been on literally a sliver of health Bro. and has made comeback after comeback that, against Cycle? Uh, you want to know what it is? I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the Lord. This man, he never ended up going to take that shit he had to take. He's holding it in. And that is his maximum potential right now. You're right. You're right. When you hold your shit in for long enough, all of a sudden you enter God mode. He entered God mode. I mean, look at this right now. He is running away with this set here, Caboose. Goes with the standing four into the setup. Oh, he got a combo off of that shit, bro. That was nuts. Oh my God. That was fucking nuts. What is happening? Out right now. Oh my god. Bro, he's popping off. The hype with this set destroyer. He's oh, popping that's a off, bro. Big punish from Cycle 1 as he finally reacts to the low. Or guesses, I should say. Oh, nice. The low jab connects. See, finding some hits. Get that overhead to connect. Bro, stop. Gonna jump in. Overhead, overhead again. Going down time. He's gonna go slow motion. Spits in his face, stops him in the approach. He puts the force ball on the screen. Oh, no, is he bagging? What are you doing? I don't know. He better not be getting too happy. He's got a full stick of butter. No, sir. Uh oh, that no breaker. He's got a breaker yeah. too. He's got a breaker. Oh, TC has taken it with the acid ball. Bro, this guy is ridiculous. PC staying alive, and you want to know what's crazy about this, Caboose? Pay your respects. What's that? Throne Wait. Defended. What? Hold on. Did I mess up the bracket here? What'd you do? Oh, no. Okay, no. We're good. We're good. I have to move unbearable skills in loser's final, right? Yeah, yeah I, it's dead. It's I, still set up early. Yeah. No, I yeah. see what I did wrong. My bad. Oh, for, for the graphic, you mean? Yeah, yeah, for the graphic. Hey, yo, Spanky Dino, stop the fucking music, man. Bro. Holy shit. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. What is going on? I can't believe on? it, man. What is I going can't on, bro? It. No, that, that, that set was incredible. Goes that in is the about history books. Good. That, that is about exactly. That is about as good as MKX could get. There were three games in a row where T Seed was on a sliver, a hair. He was a sliver of life, and he somehow. I mean, he, he granted he didn't get full comebacks every time, but he made it close every single time. And then finally, where it counted, he was able to close out those rounds, and he was able to secure the set. That was. Fucking insane. His name is Sliver from now on. Uh, go ahead. You know what? That works with the reptile man. Yeah. Game? Yo. That works. Let me see if we can get Forever King to join this shit real quick. And then go ahead and send out the invite to... Uh, Our charger, right? To, yeah, Mr. Pipo himself. Oh my goodness. So Forever King's in here. We're just oh, going to get perfect, Star Charger perfect. in. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, King. Yeah, I just shot him a DM. Perfect. So, so now we just need to get Star Charger in here, and that'll be the next match that we got up. 
And I'm, I'm excited to see what Forever King's going to be able to do once again with that Sub-Zero. My goodness. I, I just... Unbelievable, Destroyer. Unbelievable. <laughs> no. You know, it, this tournament really has been unbelievable. You know, even starting from Wednesday, there was just so much on fuckery Thursday. going on. On Thursday, on Wednesday. Did I say on Thursday? No, no. I said, I just, I'm, I'm just fucking with you. You piece of shit. But that yeah, was dude. not. You know, it, like team seed with willpower like you've never seen before, man. Dude. You literally refused you, to you, loot. You got to have nerves of steel. Like, you know, even though this is an invited tournament, right? Everything was nobody had to pay any money to get in here. Yep. There's money on yep. the line. And like, you know, I've experienced, you've probably experienced, many people probably experienced it before, but like anything just remotely competitive, the nerves start to kick in. Like it's just in our nature to to want to, you know, win and, and it, the, that adrenaline starts fucking pumping. But here we go. We got this next match underway. Star Charger versus Forever King. Are you ready for this, man? These matches have been too crazy. Insane top eight. And we're not even done with it yet. We're not even done with it yet, man. I, I turn off my cam backs and no, we're good. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Motherfucker. Sub Zero. Motherfucker. So look at that. Forever King is gonna be sticking with the with the Sub Zero. Yep. Now. Yep. Katana Star Charges instant air fans. I feel like that's gonna be very problematic for those ice clones he's gonna try to put up because bro, talk about execution with instant air fans, man. This guy. He's fucking clean with it. You would strike me down. Dude, he's fucking clean with it, dude. Then you dude, he's fucking clean. Round one, fight. Okay, Star King's off of the jump in and just a raw ice ball. I don't think Forever King expected to land that. Ooh, Star Charger. Got some interesting tech there. Can uh, deflect some of those ice balls. Oh, nicely done. Shutting down Forever King in the air with the projectile. And now Star Charger getting things going. Getting things Overhead. going indeed. Overhead's gonna connect two Overhead. times. Oh my god, how many, bro? He oh, fucking smacked her in the face with a branch. He said, enough of those overheads, bitch. He can definitely still do this. He just got to get one good corner situation, but the booty bounce is gonna make it ever so more hard to catch this. Let's see. About to be set up city destroyer. It's about to be set up city. Okay. He's gonna get an ice foam set up. What is Star Charger gonna do to avoid this? Whoa! We're just trying to attack with Katana's. The double down got? poke, bro. Star Charger's a maniac for that. Man said double down poke. Get on my face. I can't believe they made a fucking blow in MK11. Katana breaking your face with her ass. <laughs> it goes to show how bony that ass is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm they can't do the same thing, like man. Who? Oh. Like mother like daughter. And they got the, the bony butts. <laughs> Good oh, jumping. Nice King right now trying to keep control of this corner here. He wanted the overhead. Oh, good little low poke anti-air. And there's a punish. Breaker from Star Charger. Finds an oh. opening. Dude, I always have had a problem with that goddamn screen from Katana. The one that throws her like mid-screen. Where she just lunges forward. Right. It's so hard to avoid. And the fact that she's able to, you know, flip the switch from zoning to that string. Look at that. Forever King went for the meter burn ice ball to try and get through these fans. But this onslaught of projectiles is going to give Star Charger wins. that first game. Game number one going to Star Charger, man. What a way to get things started here. Forever King, he does have a tremor up Pay his sleeve. But a lot of people will go at, like, a lot of the new high level players, they kid. say Katana beats Tremor's ass. Which is hard to believe, because Tremor is Tremor, you know? Alright, here we go. 
game number two underway forever king versus star burst round one fight hey very nice starts off with the low slide ex overhead's gonna connect tosses the interactable forever king playing very oh, passive aggressive yeah, that was like so many layers of that, right? He fucking threw the ice ball, got it deflected, but then his ice phone <laughs> deflected. It was too much. That's right, yeah. He has his ice going up, pops an ice ball, gets deflected to break his own ice ball. <laughs> this motherfucker Sub-Zero broke his own shit. Yo, another thing you gotta watch out for from Sub-Zero, is that down four? That shit's got some range. Yeah, for sure. Doing wonders right now for Forever King. I mean, All of these players this. kind of just chipping away at each other, and now Star Charger gets an opening immediately. Breakering though. Oh, get him! Really that combo is gonna be huge. I don't know that if King's trying to play timer. Charger. Oh no, Destroyer is just gonna be the end of the game or the end of the round. I should say not the He's game. He's dead. Oh wait. Okay, guaranteed chip. That's gonna be the round there for Star Charger. Was that guaranteed? I'm pretty sure the string she went for was a high, no? Oh, actually, you're right. Maybe could have Forever King woken up with a slide or something? Like a down poke or some shit. A couple options, maybe. Combo. Oh, dropped it though. Still lands the overhead. Damn, what a way to get out of that corner. Get out of that. From Star Charger, you see the way that Star Charger avoided the Ice Clone. Yeah, a lot of crazy escapes going on right now. Is that he's, play, he's doing an escape room? Yeah, he's playing Ape Escape. What's that? <laughs> oh, the overhead connects! <laughs> this guy just goes... <laughs> <laughs> this combo from Forever King gets the overhead. He's dead. This should be the round. Puts him in another ice cold yeah. setup and chip him out. Oh, just go to the chip. Wait, Wait what? Wait How is okay. she still alive, dude? That ass must be giving her some extra strength. Final round. She's Final. using Tylenol extra strength. Bony butt. <laughs> he sounded like uh, the Raiden from the classic movies. Yo, these guys are scrambling like headless chickens right now. Ice Cone's gonna deflect the fan, but he pushes in with that obnoxious string. Good low. I don't think so. Oh, was it a good low? <laughs> Raiden. I don't when, are, when should we be expecting Mortal Kombat 12? Oh shit, did you see Katana got shut down she by got, the Ice Clone in the middle of trying to hit Sub-Zero with her butt cheek. She got folded, bro. <laughs> she got folded. <laughs> the jump kick tries to convert with the back forward four. And that's gonna be it for everything. Getting a game on the board here, tying things up. We got ourselves, yet again, a match. Another one. There is a new king. I would do the DJ Khaled We The Best, but I feel like my voice would just, it would just shut down if I did it. Nah, there's no way. Are there people in the chat who are keeping count on the amount of fans thrown? <laughs> no shot. How many no. we got so far? Somebody said there was 15 fans thrown in that last round. Only? I feel like it would be more, right? Yeah, with how clean Star Charger's doing them? At least 20. Better make sure you're counting them right because if you're not, you better just stop. Chud, if you get it wrong this time, you gotta give me 342,000 subs. How? Oh my god. That's what he said he would do. Imagine. Oh, that ice ball. There was pretty much no way you were gonna be avoiding getting frozen there, Star Charger. You say your favorite movie's Frozen? Frozen 2, actually. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very good. Staggers the string right at the ice bolt. There we go. That's the thing, though. Like, notice, Star Trek can't just mindlessly spam those spams because if he throws the wrong one, he can just easily get that trade. You're right about that, Destroyer. That's going to be a punish off the slide. It's a drop combo, I think, but nevertheless, it seems to have worked out for Star Charger closing the round. Hindering me. Damn. Round two. I mean, let me see. Let's get a, a one in the chat. Does Katana have a bony butt? Two in the chat, she doesn't. Three in the chat if you're a piece of shit. Bro. <laughs> you fucking ruined it. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> you know damn well everybody watching in here. Is a fucking number three, <laughs> including me, <laughs> including me, Jack. <laughs> what is that piece of shit for life? And Caboose too. Ride, they ride with die pieces. And shit. Caboose is one as well. <laughs> Star Charger is up two one in the set. The Star Charger is a piece of shit as well. Star Charger is a, he is a piece of shit. <laughs> God damn. Pay your respects. There is a new king. My goodness, Destroyer. Star Charger up 2-1 right now. Forever King. Sticking with the Sub-Zero pick, which I respect. Yeah. I, I I respect it too. I, like, I understand what the game plan is. You know, he wants to try to scare her with the ice balls and the ice clone. That way, you know, she can chill out with the zoning and then they can get a little more up close and personal. But Katana excels in both fucking departments, man. She's really good in the zoning department. She's really good in the, in the offense. She's got everything going for her. There's no way. Did you just say Katana excels in both of them? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh, that trade is always gonna be winning for Sub Zero. Look at this corner combo. Set up with the ice clone. Oh, but she just yeah, wakes up. Yeah. Fuck it. Look at this. They're trying to get into the zoning. King has a massive life lead. No reason for him to get aggressive. How did that whiff? How did that jump kick whiff, bro? No idea, man. Oh, we're trying to wake up back dash. He's gonna get caught though, and Star Charger will push for everything all the way to the other side of the screen. Bro, Star Charger's oh, got an corner. angel watching him. He's trying to keep her in that slide breaker. That's all of his meters spent there. And Star Charger, he's dead. straight through the ice clone. Match point now. Again, he whips that jump kick. What the fuck is happening? Oh, you want to know what's funny? The last time I spoke to Star Charger when he made the top eight, I, like I told all the players, hey, good shit, man, just to remind them that it's on Friday. And Star Charger was like, that was me playing as a replacement. I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and it is true, you know, this guy, he wasn't even supposed to be in this tournament. D right. D D Cartier ended up dropping out. And now look at this, Star Charger. Well, I'm not saying he's on the verge to eliminating Forever King because Forever King's going crazy right now, but look where he is being a replacement, man. You're right. I mean, he's up to one. It, even still, the storyline being that he was here kind of last second for the Funny tournament. Funny as hell. He's the one to eliminate the Oxys from the tournament. That's crazy. In another world, if Descartier was the one who actually ended up competing, who knows what this top eight would have looked like. For real. Forever King right now, though, he's going to find himself in the corner with a bunch of hanged bodies. He's going to end up with those goddamn bodies, Caboose, if he doesn't do something soon. Right about that one. Just throwing fans in front of his face. Notice how every time... Uh, oh, he, he got open. GG. He's going to have a pixel. He's going to have a pixel. He's going to have a pixel. Maybe no, more, than, more than a pixel. A lot more than a pixel. Oh, he's going to wake up with the ice clone is what he's going to do, Destroyer. If he does this, bro, 
I'm clipping my toenails tonight. You clip your toenails? Bro, what the fuck is that? If he makes his comeback, I'm clipping my toenails oh, to the other head. Oh my god, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. You clip those motherfucking toenails right now at this point. We're going to a game five. I, I, what is this, this tournament, bro? What is this, Caboose? Sub Zero wins. Oh my goodness. Destroyer, all of that hinges off of a wake up ice clone that Forever King throws out after getting X rayed. Beautiful respect. stuff there. Incredible gameplay. Incredible set. Champions there's of the Realms MKX is bringing the hype, and I don't see enough hype in the chat. If there's not enough hype in the chat right now, I'm shutting down the stream. We're gonna we're gonna watch the rest of this on our own time. If there's not enough hype so, being posted so. in the chat. Wait wait right. wait 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 wait. No no, Caboose, don't push that button. Don't push. Caboose, I'll not push that it. button. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push don't it. Don't push that one. Ladies and gentlemen, game five between Star Charger and Forever King. A lot on the line here, especially considering this is the lower side of the bracket. Someone is being eliminated by the end of this match. Yeah, this is getting crazy, bro. Tossing fans like a madman Forever King in the corner. This is like where he lived the entire set, but somehow he manages to fight out of there and see the light of day, bro. Whoa. Gets the low destroyer. This is huge. And Forever King's the one with the meter advantage. He is going to utilize every Ooh, bit of that. This is big combo here. And he gets to freeze Beautiful. into the setup. Caboose into the setup. And just slams that oh my ice clone. God. Match point. This is the king clutch factor, bro. The king clutch factor. Oh, just wakes up with meter for an ice ball. He said, he sit the fuck the right down. Read. Sit the fuck down, Katana. The jumping knocks him out of the air again. Star Charger has to stop jumping, bro. He's getting himself killed. Hard knockdown into another setup. What's it gonna be? Overhead. The overhead. Bro. He blocks the overhead that time. Air to air now works for Star Charger. Is he gonna get something going? It's now or never, Destroyer. He's oh, dead. No. He's dead. It chip out. It's like chip it out. Me the end, and it is. Forever King closes out the set. There's an ice clone in his <laughs> fucking house. <outro. laughs> Sub Zero wins. What? What is what happening, bro? What is happening? This is getting too wild. It's getting <laughs> too wild, bro. The game Jeez, bro. Oh my God. Star Charger has been eliminated. Forever King will be moving on to face off against T Seed. And that'll be the last match before we move into losers finals where unbearable skill is waiting. I'll tell you what, if there was one match I wanted to witness, Caboose, it's gonna be T Seed versus Forever King. This is like this is like a match that was on my hit list that I was hoping for it to happen. And it's happening, bro. It's fucking happening. Call this shit the Yo. perfect MKX tournament. But and wow. we have to give a huge shout out to Star Charger for being here, no. for, two, for joining this no. set last minute, for joining this tournament last minute, and performing the way Star Charger did, made top eight, gave Forever King a run for his money, eliminated Deoxys from even competing in the top eight. Star Charger deserves a whole lot of credit. Can these guys leave the lobby? Why are they both like starstruck right great. now? <laughs> <laughs> they, yo, they probably ended that set and probably dropped the controller and just was like, <laughs> Dude, I mean, the emotions must have been high Holy after an intense shit. game five like that was. That was fucking intense, bro. Let's get this next invite out. Let's get these matches flowing because, man, as much as I love these matches, yeah, I don't want to be here all game. night. Gotta get TC. That's right. Oh, perfect, perfect. Keep there, that's right, King with the big brain. Keep uh, keep King in here. Let's get this next match underway. TC versus Forever King, and the winner of that caboose is gonna be advancing to fight a tyrant. Unbearable Totos. Unbearable Toto Tetas. This motherfucker is sitting in the loser's final right now. This is the true gatekeeper of hell. <laughs> like, 
Sheesh. To get to the grand final spot, it's going to be a tough one. And then not only that, but say one of these players managed to get through unbearable skill. You got Ray Laker sitting on top of the yep. throne on the winner's side who's going to yep. need that, that you know, the three games to take him to losers, the three games to beat him type deal. It's not looking too pretty. I certainly don't envy any of these competitors moving forward from here on out. Whether it's Forever King or T-Seed who will have to face off against unbearable skill. That's already an insurmountable task. And then whoever makes it out of that to go up against Ray Lakers on the winner's side of Grand Finals. Pipo Lakers? That is a, that is a Pipo Lakers. No, but seriously, this these last couple of matches here are going to be ridiculous. Losers Finals, or sorry, this is the, the round five, losers round five between T-Seed and Forever King. A variable skill awaiting in the losers finals. Whoever's gonna win this. And again, it, what makes me so sad, it's what's been making me sad for the entirety of the losers bracket, is these competitors are showing off and they are showing up with some insane sets. It makes me sad that these guys are being eliminated. I wanna see more of all of them. Yeah, 100%. Now this match right here, I 100% see what TC's going for. He's gonna yeah. utilize the, the range of these this. whips to kind of just avoid that ice clone entirely. This is, yeah. Does some of his range get through the ice clone? Or does he still it get does, it from? does. I think he can down poke right through it. Actually, yeah. let me see. I gotta, let me let me watch and see what happens. But I'm 80% I'm sure that that whip is gonna go through. I mean, that's TC's logic at least, right? I have to imagine. It makes sense what you're saying here. I mean, we look at a, a character like Predator, I mean, he who's took, able to get through that ice cone. And bro, my he, goodness, he took that I with blinked ease. in that game with Grover. Yeah. He took the first game very convincingly. Now, we, I remember, yeah. and you can correct me if I'm wrong, did we see Forever King at one point go to Tremor? Could we see a character switch here? Or do you think he's going to stick with this we could. We could see a character switch. But to be honest, bro, that went by so fast. I don't even feel like Forever King had an opportunity to to get his game plan started. I don't think we I even think saw fair. one ice clone. Did he even do one ice clone chat? Correct me if I'm no, wrong. Did that. we see he one fucking straight. ice clone? He goes straight to, to Tremor. Forever King not going to waste any time. To be honest, I think I agree with the decision making here. That Sub-Zero seemingly wasn't able to even have a moment to breathe. And that's a big factor as to why he wanted to switch right away. Yeah. Let's see what happens because now my question for this matchup Round is one. does that down one into the Lasher Whips connect still if he has the armor up? Because if he's able to just right. like flex up and avoid that, that's going to be a really big game changer. Oh, good cookie cutter. Okay, you don't want to get into that zone battle. Tremor doesn't have the best projectiles. Another thing he could probably uh -huh. do, Caboose, when he flexes up, maybe take the down one and then eat the, the whip. And might, he might be able to get a punish off of that. Oh, yeah, he might be right, actually. Okay, he's going to flex up. Oh, what good stuff there from PC. What a weak off. The thing is, is both of these competitors here have a lot of characters in their arsenal. Like, even if we see a scenario oh, where everything... If Forever King takes this game, we can see maybe TC going back to Reptile. Who knows? Who but knows? Look at the corner combo destroyer. Really good stuff, man. TC would corner control right now. Oh, he's going to whip him into the low. Goes for the string, keeping it safe with the low kunai. Everything just working in TC's favor here. Forever King has not had enough, an opportunity to really get that pressure started. Say that though, Forever King finds an opening and it's a 31% combo. This is his moment, this is his moment. This is his moment, Caboose. Oh, that was such a smart, was that a read? That was a read and My goodness. Into the side switch. He is just, New. bro, this is such a smooth sequence from this guy. Unbelievable. Fight. You're gonna love my nuts. Fight. You're gonna love my nuts. No way. Got a little bit of a punish there. Unfortunately, not much. It's caught by that tornado of attacks. Oh my god, the back two does not connect! That's gonna give TC a massive jump in. Everything has X ray while well, he has a full stick of butter. One a lot thing, of meter to work with here. Dude, one thing about this game is like 
Do you think one of the reasonings behind Mortal Kombat 11 making more uh, the X-rays like a 30% health factor situation because you don't see them enough in MKX? Maybe. I mean, like in high level play, uh, X-rays are super rare. Since people are. rather utilize their meter for breakers and like you know combo extenders. Well, as well at the same time, sometimes utilizing just one bar or two bars of meter will get you even more damage oh, than what the fuck? into an X-ray wall. Right about He's that. He's gonna meter burn the armor to avoid the chip no damage. No punish. Air to air connects for T seed, and he's gonna close out this game. Finish him. Oh boy, this puts Forever King in a very tricky spot. Takeda wins. Because so far, he wasn't able to handle this Takeda with Sub Zero, and T seed, in a close match, hey, was still respect. able to shut down Forever Forever King in this second game. So what happens here? Does he just stick with the tremor, keep going, try to try to adapt, fail, adapt, evolvo, or does he have another character up his sleeve? I don't know. Per personally, I think he should stick with the tremor, but it looks like he is thinking about it right yeah. now. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah, because the, the tremor, like tremor, is one of those characters in this game, bro. Like even if he has a bad matchup, which he doesn't, it's tremor. This motherfucker's like. He, he he has instant armor whenever he wants you know you, you just you can get very autopilot with the character and he's got some crazy mix-ups man definitely has the tools to deal with anything but starts to match up with the down one into the whip look at that guarantees a 30 percent combo bro t seed is going crazy right now really he just whether it's Reptile, whether it's Takeda, TC has been playing out of his mind. Good block. Kind of just backs up there. Just running around across the screen. Good block on the low. Forever King, though, gets anti wow. cross up with the down two and the whip. Keeping Forever King at bay. One round away now is TC from heading into the loser's finals. That is crazy, the jump-ins, bro. They're working wonders for TC. Every single time Forever King tries to make the approach and get some pressure started, he just jumps back and fucking makes him pay the price. Okay, Forever King Here runs we go. in. Getting caught, has to break her. I'm gonna tell you right now, Caboose, King cannot afford another another hit. Oh no, and just as you say that, he gets caught by one, and T Seed will take the set 3 0. That was a dominant performance. That was pretty crazy, dude. That was pretty crazy. Forever King is gonna be eliminated. T Seed's gonna be moving on to uh, Losers Final. Final? Stop the music, Spanky Doodle. Uh, loser's Magic. final? This is unbelievable right now, Destroyer. We could be seeing either T Seed or Unbearable Skill going up against Ray Lakers in that grand finals. I have no idea what to expect. Here's the thing though, Destroyer, this is a run back, actually. This loser's finals is now a run back from the very first match of the night. It is. It Unbearable is. Skill. Let's not forget about there that, man. So, so on this. And, and unfortunately, the tournament did kind of pick up in pace. So I kind of feel like TC, he didn't get much time. I mean, he got some time to think about it, you know, what he's going to do here in this matchup. But he's just going to have to adapt on the fly here. Go ahead, uh, send out that invites and it's about to go down. Losers final underway. I hope everybody's been enjoying this action, this competition. You know, Mortal Kombat X is a game that that holds a very special place in my heart, and I'm sure Caboose as well. And, and a lot of people watching, you know, this game is now, is is one of the now, one of the on, Mortal Kombat's that that spark sparked the passion for everybody. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, do Tell we me. give? I, I thought I thought TC had played three games. Did he? Row, but I. No, I was mistaken with Forever King. No, well, if T Seed wins this one, we'll definitely give him a break. Yeah, yeah, well, but but you understand what I was saying? Because we yeah. ran Forever King against Star Charger, and then 
against TC. So if it was Forever King who was going into this, probably would have given him a break if he wanted one. 100%. But there's only two games right now for TC. And some dumbass named Darkness joined the fucking King of the Hill. Beautiful. See if this we, guy we will leave. The, we love to see people disrupting the tournament for no reason at all. It's just wonderful when people jump in. And look, he's and like, yo, know, he's picking carry this guy. He's ready to fight know, in the tournament. going to show him on stream, too. He's, he's ready to fight in the tournament, bro. Oh, my God. God damn it. No, darkness, please. Please, can you leave? We're begging. He probably doesn't know. This, this guy's got to be clueless. All right. Let's just, we're going to have to back out. Fuck. Oh. God I'm damn darkness! Here. Listen, it's pretty uh pretty amazing when uh hey. when you guys when, when these guys join Listen, our King of the Hill. If, and wanna if you ever see if you ever see that guy enter one of the tournaments, bro, you better let me know because I'm DQing his ass right off the rip. 100 percent on site. All right, uh, so let's just do the whole AFK trick real fast because yeah, yeah we yeah. got we got two two more matches to go through here, right? Yeah, and I don't think we have to do the rooms anymore with the unfortunate elimination of uh, Forever King from the tournament. I was going to say thank God, but yeah, that is unfortunate. I mean, take a look at the bracket here, Caboose. This is the carnage that ensued throughout Wednesday, you know, leading up to, t uh, to today. This is definitely something that was special, man. Mortal Kombat X always gives us some of the most entertaining tournaments there is to offer. And, you know, I was talking with caboose like live during here and i was saying man we, we got to try to do one of these for uh for eu and it's funny too caboose because ray lakers man he's sitting up on that grand finals with two of the deadliest characters this game has to offer he's got possessed kenshi and he's got crystalline tremor like those two characters alone i feel they they cover the entire cast with ease like, if there was two characters you were to main in Mortal Kombat X just to get a full coverage of, like, a, a, a competitive aspect of the game, I would say possess Kenshi and Crystalline Tremor, man. Straight up. Straight up, dude. Oh, boy. Straight up! All right, here we go. Game one underway between T-Seed and Unbearable Skill. T-Seed's going to get this thing going. We have seen a whole bunch of characters from TC today, and now he's going in with Johnny Cage, Jonathan Ageathan. Jonathan Wobunski? Jonathan Wobunski. Oh, he was going to get a punish. TC forced to go off the, the break. Oh, I spoke about the Johnny Cage. He actually whipped it out. Yeah, My that's fear right. of him going to Johnny, though, was that Unbearable had too much knowledge of it because Johnny Cage, man, as much of as much mix he has and pressure, at the end of the day, all you have to do is really just block overhead. If not, he's just gonna harass you with a bunch of low pokes. You know what I'm saying? Because his, his only mix up is that overhead, and then the, the standing one one low. Verbal skill was able to end cross up with a low poke. There's the dive kick, and that's gonna be the round. Nice little combo there. Dive kick, dive kick. Can I get a non-stop dive kick in the chat right now? Huh. No, matter of fact, press three. If you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Look at this corner control. Unbearable skill. Staggers into the throw. Just How easy. pulling out a pool of blood out of this guy's face. DC stuck in this corner right now. Doesn't have that second bar meter to break away. Could Unbearable Skill close this out? Yes, indeed, Destroyer. Now, what does TC do as he heads back into the character select screen? Are we going to see... He's got to think uh, about it. He's got to think, think about it. I don't think he should do like a rapid fire pick. He should really think about it. You know, Unbearable Skill right now, he's in here with the Kung Lao. What character is going to be best, you know, in, in his honest opinion, that can potentially perform the best results for him. That's kind of what he needs to figure out here. Whoa. Intrigued to see yeah. what TC is thinking. He's looking at Reptile. He's looking at Takeda. Takeda, Takeda. Takeda. 
Okay, I, I, I like okay. I like the idea here. I like the I feel this character as long as he's playing a clean neutral game He can really catch punishes from ranges that your opponent is really not gonna be expecting and as long as he just you know Keeps at, at that range with the whips. He's gonna be smooth sailing here But it's very, honestly tragic that Takeda didn't show up in AK-11. He's one of the coolest like new characters The cooler things. ones, right? Yeah. Who's your favorite newest one? Takeda? I, honestly, I think it might be. I really like the story, like the lore for this character, and like his move set and the look. Like, imagine the gear and the customization you could have done with this guy in MK11. Ooh, it would have been fire. That's a new opportunity, man. Me personally, since I'm big onto like the monster creatures and shit, Ferator would yeah, Ferator would have been my pick. Look at this, man. This is working out for him. I mean, the life bars are a little lopsided here, and Variable Skill has a slight advantage. Speaking of slight advantage, turns it into a massive lead. Knocks him out of the air and is going to take that round. TC had the ability to break her, but I guess just didn't want to spend the two bars over here. Wasn't confident in the comeback. Sometimes you just got to take that loss in the round and pick it up in the next one. And TC now with a full stick of butter. Gonna get some things going. Was looking for the NJP. But it was out of range. Goes for the now. launcher. Good combo. Takeda really can dish out a lot of damage. That jump back connects for TC. Who's holding on to this corner now. Again with the jump back. Punish. A Bro. low attempt. Unbearable skill switches sides too while he's I at it. I doubt this dude is reacting. So I'm just going to say that he's making these big brain reads blocking those mix-ups from Takeda, man. Insane. Wow, what a dive kick punish. This is going to sit him down to the corner again. Great wake up. He has a breaker though. The breaker. Oh my goodness, destroyer. Oh, and there it is. Unbearable yeah. skill by the head. Takes that second game. That was a little more of a back and forth that we saw there as opposed to the first game with Johnny. But does TC still not want to go up against this guy with Takeda and maybe switch to Reptile? Does he go? Reptile. I'm not too sure, man. He went for it immediately. I mean, he, yeah, there he, it is. he went for the Reptile right off the bat. There it is. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what though, like just just an analyzing the way T Seed's been going at these matchups, man. I feel like out of all the characters he's brought out today, the Reptile's probably gonna be the one with the most comeback potential. Especially given the fact this fucking character can go full Matrix mode whenever he wants. I mean, the, thing, the things that that T Seed has shown off with Reptile like has blown our minds throughout the tournament. Yeah, they they blew my socks off. And so if he's gonna if he's gonna run it back with any character on this roster, it's gotta be this guy. This run back though right now has seemingly been going the same way it did the first time around. Unbearable skill has been in control and is up to O. What does TC do to answer? Breaker now trying to get out of this corner. Oh, Finds that hit. This is big. Does he get a side switch off of this? No, the slow motion. He's gonna go for the slow motion. Down. I respect the options he's going for, man. He wants to get as much damage output as possible here. And that slow motion setup would have been his his output. Oh my god. Tries to block, but to get the staggers, man. Unbearable skill. He's just making it impossible to make the read. Points. Unbearable now. Cover that jump in. Okay. There's the acid ball. That teleport is so key for Kung Lao in this matchup because when, whenever there's that slow moving projectile coming across the screen, Unbearable Skill can avoid any semantics that TC tries to go for. Dive kick connects. Okay, the time's been slowed down. Oh, oh my goodness, Unbearable Skill blocks alone. There's, there's no recovery from that. I can't fucking believe it. Unbearable Skill has taken the set 3-0. A heartbreak as T Seed's been eliminated. But now, Unbearable Skill gets his run back against Ray Lakers, moving on into Grand Finals. Right. Here's the scary Stop part. Stop the music, Spanky. This is it, the huh? This is the it, scary Caboose. Part is, last time we saw Unbearable Skill go up against Ray Lakers, I believe it was a pretty convincing and a pretty scary 3 0 for Ray Lakers. So, Unbearable Skill, hopefully has had the time to recoup 
and has had the time to potentially see what he could do better in this matchup against Ray Lakers for our grand finals. All right, but you know what? As as how, as crazy as this match is about to be, I think we do need a breather. If you want to send this to a quick one, Caboose, that way you hey. know the shipping and pipos, everybody can settle down and just get ready. <laughs> get ready for this match that's about to take place. You know, unbearable skill oh, versus man. Ray Lakers. Honestly, looking at this bracket, besides Deoxys, these are probably the two second strongest players, you know, in that bracket. So it's about to go down, it's brother. Cool. It is about to go down, chat. Please do not go anywhere. You guys do not want to miss the grand finals for Champions of the Realms MKX. It's about to go down after this quick break. Give us a second to take a breather. Take a breather yourself, you know, but don't don't miss what's about to go down here. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Champions of the Realms. This guy's a clown. Champions of the Realms, <laughs> Mortal Kombat X. We got the top eight underway here, and we are now stepping in to the grand finals. Caboose, are you ready for this madness? Unbearable skill versus Ray Lakers. It's about to go down. I'm honestly scared of this grand finals. I'm scared for both of these competitors because the nerves are probably high, mainly because Destroyer, if we hit exclamation point match arena right now in the chat, and if you guys want to just quickly if you don't mind having a, having a second or two, taking a look at the match arena. Hi, yeah, you, the yeah. community, you, the community, watching, tuning in, supporting Champions of the Realms, have single handedly funded this tournament and gotten us to like $1,100 for the prize pool. There is a lot of money up for grabs tonight, Destroyer, for Mortal yeah. Kombat X. And, and we're waiting on Ray Lakers to join i sent the motherfucker an invite and it looks like you don't want to play anymore i guess what huh? a piece of shit but no again you know uh everybody watching everybody viewing you guys don't know what that means like the fact that me and caboose you know we just got together to say hey man you want to run a mortal kombat x tournament champions of the realms we got this shit together got the players together didn't even get a fucking right. sponsor for the tournament that's right i know and look at the money that we raised for these goddamn players you guys don't understand how powerful you are as a community how crazy this is and how ridiculous all of this shit is we, i am honored will, to be a part of this goddamn this realm the realm of the human will race take a, a moment uh towards the end to shout out everybody who has donated to the prize pool i think correct me if i'm wrong destroyer but i think if people really wanted to they could still send in some last second donations and increase that prize pool if they like to. Yeah, completely uh, optional, completely optional. I mean, we are fucking... Uh, it's all up to you guys, for sure. Completely grateful for what we got in the pot already, but holy shit, man. That's bananas. The players are here. It's about to go down grand finals. What? What? Really? With Scorpion? Oh, shit. With Scorpion? Scorpionox? Shit, Scorpionox is being pulled out here for the grand finals. Ladies and gentlemen, Champions of the Realms, MKX, it's about to go down the run back between Ray Lakers and Unbearable Skill. And this is Mount Everest for Unbearable Skill. He's got to Round reset one, this bracket five. and then take another set first to three against Ray Lakers if he wants to win this tournament. I think you should probably yeah. update the video, guys. Okay, I was about to say, I think you should update the bracket to get it. Oh, yeah, Caboose. That, that's what I'm talking about, like... Looking at this uh, this character pick he went for, the uh, Scorpion, I feel like this is just going on because he's got that three game cushion. You know, he defeated a variable skill with the fucking Possessed Kenshi, right? That's a little disrespectful though, do you think? Is he just trying to give entertainment for the stream Listen. or is he just fucking around? Here? My boy, there's a thousand plus dollars in the prize spot right now. You better be putting your A game in these matches. I don't care, I'm entertainment, saying. whatever. Win at this point, you know? Win. I, I, I gotta agree with that. I hope he's not just fucking around here because he's like as confident as can be. Because you never know. Even though you, even though Ray Lakers took that last set between him and Unbearable Skill fairly convincingly, you never know what Unbearable Skill has been able to learn or potentially will be able to adapt to coming into this grand final. Never ever count out. We have seen plenty of times before what may have seemed to be someone else's match to win, but then their opponent comes back big time. Look at this combo, man! Put him in the I corner mean, and just gave him hellfire! 
I mean, damn, dude, that was all Ray Lakers right there. He only got touched, like, off of chip damage, I think. That's gonna, that's gonna be a big fucking message going to Unbearable Skill, bro. That'll be a big message for the competition and anybody still playing MKX today. Ray Lakers is somebody you gotta watch out for. Ray Lakers has gotta be in conversation for one of the best of the best for this game. Dude, remember he was a champion for uh, uh, the open series we had? I think you're right. Yeah, I know right. you remember that. That's right. This dude's no joke. Man is looking the two peak champions of the realms, bro. And that is no easy feat. He dropped into that combo, but he still gets good damage off of that. Pretty much tied on the life bar here. Breaker. Good breaker. He avoids the spears. Britney Spears, a variable skill right now, tossing a bunch of cookie cutters. Runs up. He's trying to mix him up. Okay, that forward one, two. Stopped it early. Burned by the damage over time there. I mean, and Ray Lakers meet her here, and it works. What a read, bro! Really about to happen right now. Andy's on fire, pretty much guaranteeing the victory. Wow. Okay, we were questioning the pick, but I guess this is why the saying is absolutely true. When we say that these are the guys who are playing, and we're the ones on the mic commentating like a bunch of pieces of shit, because Ray Lakers took that first game extremely well with Scorpion. Dude, I'm at a loss for words right now. If Ray Lakers manages to get two games to zero, while on the winner side with Scorpion, I'm not gonna know what to say anymore. I'm gonna change that my name to Gerson. Possibly have Destroyer because he hasn't even pulled out Possessed Kenshi yet. And who knows, if he gets his back to a corner and Unbearable Skill wants to reset this bracket, all he's gotta do is make that switch. Who knows what could happen from then on. Good down one, he's gonna go for the throw. Good throw. Oh, nice remix. I like that. Good whip pick from Unbearable Skill. He's a little more of that. Ooh, that low actually connects. That trade was huge. Punish! Oh! Gotta get those punishes. Nice. Mad plus range right now, dude. He is just living up to his name here, Caboose. Yes, sir. Throw connects, though, for Ray Lakers. At the corner now. We've seen him do work with any character in this corner. Okay. A variable skill going to get through. Very oh tight here. Oh, my God. Throw. That's going to be Chip. No. He jumps over. One more mix in a dream. He here burns the, uh, the armor. Bro, why is this match so intense? Lost frames and a half destroyer. This defense from Ray oh, Lakers! The bro. Dwayne Johnson overhead. Bro, the defense from Ray Lakers, though. He blocked about a million attacks. The bear bear will through the entirety of the end of that round. Like, rah, 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 rah. If you smell! Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Goddamn Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's got to get a hold of himself. Good throw. That's gonna punch him a little closer to the corner here. Another throw on Wake Up. These mind games are getting insane right now between both these competitors. Very good stuff. Hits him full screen and goes with a flex up. Interactions are so key on the pit. Good knockdown. Another flex up. Tossing cookie cutters all over the place, Caboose. What is Ray Lakers gonna do? He's got a big life deficit right now. Oh, had to breaker. Good stuff there on the block breaker there from Ray Lakers because there was so much meter for unbearable skill to work with. And he's still gonna find a way to close this out. That was key. Actually, huge win from unbearable skill. Because if we saw what happened in that first game repeat itself in the second game, as you mentioned, a two-game cushion before Ray Lakers even had to bust out Kenji would have been huge. So unbearable skill shutting that down right away. Puts him in a good spot here to potentially figure out how he's going to adapt if Ray Lakers would switch to Kenshi, but he's not going to. Yeah, let's see what the hell is going to happen here, man. I don't know why Ray Lakers is sticking with this Scorpion because, like, bro, you already got a game on the board. Go with What's the character it? you took the dub with. Pull out that possessed Kenshi right now. End it right here. I'm fucking hungry. I want to get out of here. Round one. <laughs> <laughs> Good down nice. four. 
Oh, that was just, that was disgusting. Dude, I low-key feel like he's trying to prove a point though, right? It does feel a little bit like that. I, I mean, I don't know, maybe this is a character that he's always had on his sleeve. He's like, I don't need the tremor, I don't need to possess Kenshi, I can do this with fucking sword. I don't know. If it's simply just to prove a point, I guess I can slightly understand, but at the same time, like you guys, like you said, you guys competing for money, man. Go for the win. Big money at Go that. For the win. When the hell do you see a thousand dollars being thrown into Mortal Kombat X tournaments yeah. nowadays, you know? That's gonna be a big punish. He could potentially take this round. Ray Lakers with all the meter. Yeah, he's dead, bro. Ray is fucking doing this, son. With the goddamn Hellfire Scorpion. Round two. Fight. Goes in with the down four, knocks him with the overhead. The low is gonna connect at the safety net of the Hellfire activation. Sunny Delight. Really done there, unbearable skill, keeping Ray Lakers at bay. Project out. This is actually really smart from unbearable skill. Once he sees that uh, the Ray Lakers has activated kind of the fire and he was looking for the damage over time, unbearable skill just stays full screen, tosses some projectiles, and waits for it to go away. Wait, do you think Ray Lakers has to control it to x88? Did he? Maybe. So throw there from unbearable skill. Off the cancel. Again, low projectile, good low, good throw, too slow. And look at all the meter here once again. Unbearable skill interrupting, activates the armor. Watch out for the teleport. I feel like that down one pokes in that situation. A player like Ray Lakers, I, you want to get that kill. He should have went with the OTG uh, unblockable ground pound just to get that guaranteed damage. Taking a risk, man. Keeping Ray Lakers alive is taking a risk. Huge oh reset. Oh my god, you got you got a breaker. You have to break her. Oh my goodness gets caught. A little too overzealous from unbearable skill. Into the throw now. A little bit of extra damage. And unbearable skill has the comeback of a lifetime that he has to make, but he's not going to break god. This is terrifying, oh my man. God. It's terrifying. Ray Lakers, everybody. Bro, you know what we gotta do? We gotta throw Rain Unbearable into uh, the arena. Damage the Realms Arena. Oh, oh first I would love for that. We gotta throw him into the arena, bro. Hell yeah. This is getting out of control. Ray Lakers is on the verge to closing this out three games to one. Unless Unbearable Skill can clutch this out here and now. I mean, you look at the way Ray is playing. He's got everything going for him. He's got the setups, the reads. It's just flip the names at this point. It's unbearable. Yeah. Unbearable Ray Lakers. <laughs> unbearable Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers are unbearable. Okay. Right. <laughs> Good pressure. Try to get the teleport. Okay. But the Los Angeles Breaker is going to go into effect here. That teleport. Okay, here we go now. It's unbearable skill turn. Oh, he tried to convert that. You can, right? I think. I thought only in the corner, but he tried to do it mid-screen. It probably could convert. If he went for it, I'm pretty sure it converts. Oh, just armored up right in front of Ray Laker's face there. Has the Breaker. He really wants this round to square. Every round, every hit, every tap oh. is gonna count. Oh my god, he had the breaker! One touch from both of these players! Caboose! And oh. there it is! Unbearable skills oh, alive! Shit. He's kicking! Overhead's gonna connect. Dragging him to the corner here. Unbearable skill though, fighting his way out with the forward one, two, one. That's also plus on block. Fucking do it all string. Unbearable finds a hit. Watch out for the rising hellfire. Throw connects for Ray Laker. Which 
the throw. Maybe got a bigger punish off of that. Okay, and now here we go. Unbearable skill. Pushing Ray Lakers into the corner. Activates the armor. Gets a hit. And there's a breaker forced from Ray Lakers. Oh, that was a good setup you tried to hit him there with. That forward four into the uh, Hellfire activation. Very tricky. Unbearable skill, though. I am getting my Whoa. pants at the end of this game right now. Yes. Oh! Slides oh through it and gets down to game two. five. Okay. Does he switch now? Well, Does he switch does now? Do? Does he stop playing games and say, fuck it, I'm going with the Kenshi? Or does he say, you know what? I've come this far with Scorpion. I'm going to run this set with Scorpion. And then we see a potential bracket reset. And who knows what happens from that. I think, honestly, if he sticks with the oh, Hellfire man. Scorpion, sticking with it. he's sticking with it. Are you serious? Are you Xbox Series S right oh, now? Man, I, I, I am so terrified because there's been a back and forth between wins from Unbearable and Ray Lakers to Unbearable and Ray Lakers. If we see history repeat itself throughout this set, then Ray Lakers could take this and close it out. But if Unbearable Skill can just do what he's done for the first oh. game that he won. Already starting strong, reset this bracket. 100% could, man. Look at this. He's got him in the corner. Go with the plus 12 pressure. Overhead hard knockdown. The down one into more pressure. He tries to teleport. That, yes. Punishes on lockdown. Unbearable skill is ascending right now. He needs this. He needs this, but I know that in the back of his mind, he's got to be aware, well aware of the fact that Ray Lakers, even if he resets his bracket, has that Kenshi. Oh, shit. Oh, you got to hope that that lag wasn't the reason the Ray Lakers lost that round. We're not going to talk about it. Bro, that was that was a Ray Lakers hidden, hidden attack. <laughs> a hidden attack from Ray Lakers. Man, he's got the fucking the, the lag switch ready to rock. Here we go now. Terrible skill. Okay, good stuff there with the meter burn slide. Or the sweep, I should say. Playing it very patient here. A lot of down force. Keeping him in that corner right now. Jump in. Throw connects for Ray Lakers. Armor. Ooh, he tried to push through that hit. Maybe get a punish in the overhead now. Beautiful stuff. That was so optimal. 28%. He tries to get another combo going. That's that an anti-air oh, into the OTG. Just get that ship there out, it is. The been reset, ladies and gentlemen. Unbearable skill True. is going to start yes. up another first to three with Ray Lakers. But is this the time where Ray yes. Lakers now switches over to possess Kenshi? I have no clue what to expect going into this next set. And I'm, I'm genuinely terrified. Oh, my Lord. We're going down to the wire here, it seems, Caboose. Unbearable skill right now is coming in furious. But I think Ray Lakers is going to start switching now. Yup. Coming through with the book, bro. Why not do this from the beginning, Caboose? Because now if, he's, if he loses this, bro, and he gets closer than he did when what he just used, come on, bro. He's going to be beating himself over the head with a fucking paddle for the rest of the year. If this ends up being just like a quick 3-0 for Ray Lakers with this possessed Kenshi, that's gotta be uh that's honestly gotta be some disrespect picking the scorpion off the first set, man. But right see. now a very pretty decent start. And fun fact, you know, a lot of people will contest and say that Crystalline Tremor is a good matchup for possessed Kenshi. So if anything, the boy Ray Lakers is in the is in the slope here. You know, another thing, another point to make too is that if Unbearable Skill is kind of riding the wave of momentum from resetting that bracket, if he potentially wins this, then Ray Lakers would really be kicking himself for having not picked this Kenshi earlier. Oh, he had a hit. Okay, there we go. Unbearable Skill gets a get out of jail free card. Unfortunately, Ray Lakers wasn't able to block. Good teleport. Nerve. There's some serious nerves here. Sure. You can feel it. Yeah, he, I think he tried to flag parry with the forward one anti-air, yeah. but he got the uh, full full special instead. The jump in. Overhead. Good wake up there from Ray Lakers. There's the flash parry. 
Look at this. He's going to go into the hard knockdown, of course. Into the flex up. Overhead. Oh, he's staggering strings. Try to bait out the special attack. Oh, nice Whoa. interruption. Unbearable skill. Unbearable skill. He can close it out right here, Destroyer. Is he going to be able to? Yes, yes indeed. He is. He's up a game now. He's officially in the lead. There's not going to be no quick and easy 3-0 for Ray Lakers. It's about to get real. I mean, is it fucking got real when that bracket got reset, man? Defend. My goodness. Ray Lakers has got to rethink the decisions he has made leading up to this point. Because maybe wasting his time on that Rip. Scorpion pick in the last oh, okay, set. Okay, okay, hold on. You're getting carried away. You're getting carried away. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna sit here and say that was a waste of time with the Scorpion pick because the Scorpion almost won him the whole fucking tournament. I, I, see, in my opinion, in my opinion, even if you're gonna lose and get the bracket reset, picking the Kenshi earlier allows you time. If, even if you're losing against this Tremor, it allows you time and gives you that cushion to figure out how to adapt against your opponent. Going that first set, through and through with Scorpion, I feel was not the greatest decision for Ray Lake. That was not the move. He's gonna flex up right now. Ray Lakers, it looks like he's trying to get very aggressive here. He wants to put all the pressure in the world. Not let unbearable skill get away with anything. Not even let him get those cookie cutters out. Okay, that's a that's a trade you don't want to go with. Nice flash parry there. Wow. Unbearable skill. Low projectile and the teleport. Stuff there from Ray Lakers. Terrible skill though, advancing. Gives up a turn flash parry again. And he meter burns the armor this time around, Destroyer. Below. Taking no chip damage, but he got caught by the overhead there. Holy Locked. shit. Trying oh to get way, the there off the teleport. Battle Ray Lakers time. actually won that. I thought he got that that jump one, bro. I I thought he would have too. I I had to look at the light bars to see who won that. Oh, good jump over. I don't think that's a trade he wants though. Ray Lakers is definitely losing more HP in that. Okay, yeah, Ray Lakers, you're saying. That's not a trade he wants. Yeah. Yeah, because he's not landing that full attack. He's only getting the opening. So he only gets like just 1% damage, essentially. Oh man, the frame rate's dropping big time. Okay, the frame rate's good now. Frame rate's good now. Grand finals. So sorry, guys. I think it's okay. It's okay. Bar Bar Baraito's farting, bro. He's, he's shitting and farting all over the equipment. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta put a leash on that dude. Okay, a variable skill has got to make this comeback now or never. Ray Lakers. Looking to close out this second game off look, the reset look. bracket. Yo, this is this is grand oh, final. Up. Oh my god. I, it's not gonna kill, but he's gonna flex up here. Meter burn flex up at that. Meter burns. Interactable no and that guaranteed. Is guaranteed. Unbearable skill tying up the rounds here on the verge, going up two games to zero. Caboose, Good this Lord. is this is grand finals of variable skill versus Ray Lakers and Tim Zerone versus frame drops. <laughs> Who do you think he's gonna win? I don't know. That's a tight matchup, man. Oh, look at the patience here from both of these competitors. They're so scared to push buttons. Flash parry, but it's not gonna work still. Unbearable skill pushes on. Okay, keeping it safe with the rock punch. That's like minus seven, I think. An X. Ray Lakers. Teleports. Gets that slam. And there it is, Ray wow. Lakers tying up this reset bracket. Wins. Bro, I think this is gonna be a back and forth all the way down to the wire until the stream explodes. <laughs> I'm calling it now. I hope everybody's ready for it. But no, honestly, this is actually a legendary Trim. battle right now. These two players are seriously giving it their all, man. Word to JR, this is a slobber knocker destroyer. What? A what now? This guy didn't watch WWE. Round one, fight. This guy's a fake fan. 
Get the fuck out of here. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? Who the hell said I was a fan? Get the okay. fuck out of here, alright? Alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Just run the dog. Get on the mic. <laughs> I was gonna try to do a true underdog price, but I can't. <laughs> There's only one true underdog, man. Okay, here's the corner pressure. Unbearable skill now. Flash parry. And he takes the round, Destroyer. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Unbearable skill. If he can manage to get up two games to one here, uh, Caboose, I think he's gonna be smooth sailing, bro. Like that that's what it's about, man. In these sets, I, I know it can be any man's game, but it's low-key a battle of attrition, dude. Like you gotta look at the rounds like a fucking tug of war aspect, you know? Like what what's one of the most uncommon things you see in, in, in sets? Is reverse three O's. Yeah, that's right. And the that's reason right. being is because, like I said, man, this battle of attrition, getting up a, a round a game, being up two games to one, two games to zero. You get that fucking momentum and you want to close shit out. Incredible combo there from Ray Lakers in the corner. Unbearable skill opting not to use his meter to break her. And meter. I think that was a smart decision. Meter burn. You don't. Oh, oh you want to dance here. She doesn't get it. Okay, finds a way through. And now unbearable skill with all the OTG, meter OTG. in the world. No, he goes for the flex. Oh, wow. What a neutral jump. Oh, my Ray God. Lakers has balls of steel. Ray Lakers is a matrix. This dude has to carry his balls around on a friggin' wheelbarrow. <laughs> Holy shit. I think this and is chip out. Guaranteed. This is chip out. It is. Unbearable skills up 2-1. Oh my God. Tremor this is insanity wins. right now, dude. What is gonna happen? Dude, Tremor has a fucking slice right in the middle of his head. There is oh, a new man. king. He got fucked up that game. <laughs> it slices the middle of his head open. Like a freaking honey turkey Remember. slab. Kenshi. Here the we go. The intensity of this match, Destroyer. This set is unbelievable. This so, grand This final, set is unbearable. It's unbearable skills. This set is Ray Lakers. No, that doesn't work as well. You know what? I'm going to get the fuck out of here. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. You commentate this one on your own. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all later. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. It's Grand Finals. Okay, starting off strong with the demons. Goes for the stagger straight into the teleport. I'm li I'm liking the mix up. He's going for single hitting uh, hitting strings right into the teleport, bro. And that's going to make for some crazy mind games. Variable skill is not really going to know when it, it, it's time to attack. Be careful of that demon. Okay, here we go now. Unbearable skill. Finds an opening. Flex is up. Good use of the armor, and there oh, we go. Oh, but no. unbearable skill is gonna spend the meter to break her. He gets no. caught though. That meter is lost. Bro, Ray Lakers went for like a double poke situation right into the anti-air up demon, and it worked for him. That's a big punish. That is a huge punish. Yeah, the Pipos are gonna be shivering it right now. Gets the flash parry. Nevertheless, it's worked out for unbearable skill. Wow, he is finding every opening possible, Destroyer. Dude, this is so bad. This is it. there. this is match point for unbearable skill right now. Do you understand what this means? This man's ready to take first place prize money and bearable skill. He just needs one more round. But all the same, Ray Lakers needs one more round to send us to a final game. That would make for two game five off the reset bracket and off of this final set. Oh my god. That actually connected. Good oh, yo, he's so, like you said, balls on the wheelbarrow. This dude, he does not give a fuck. He will poke when he has to. I feel like that's what's what has been kind of that adaptation Whoa. from unbearable skill. It's just that not giving a fuck attitude. This is about to be chip out, Caboose. He's got so much light. Close to it. Really close to it. Good block though from unbearable skill. Hold on a second, destroyer. All he needs to do is find a hit and then potentially set up with the low pokes. He's playing MK11. Ray Lakers is sending us to a final game.
Oh my god, what are we watching right now, dude? What are we watching? I need non-stop, non-stop hype in the chat right now, please. It's the final game for this Champions of the Realms MKX Top 8, this Invitational. This is the second game five Bro. after Unbearable Skill had reset the bracket. Bro, the two potential best characters of Mortal Kombat X right here, battling it out. I, mean, I you, can't you could throw Melina, you could throw, uh, you could throw Imposter Shinnok in there, but right now this is this is looking like it, man. <laughs> oh my God, he's getting opened up by these slams, dude. What is, does that hit overhead? If it hits overhead, Marvel needs to start blocking that shit. I just can't believe what the fuck I am witnessing right now. Seven year old game still bringing hype like it came out yesterday. This is MKX we're talking about, buddy. Oh, he's just slamming demons all over the place. Ray Lakers right now with the throw. You know, now that we're, we're seeing this super close match caboose, this goes back to what we we're talking about earlier. He should have just went Kenshi from the beginning. That's what I'm saying. You know, like, <laughs> if he if he done this, if he did this pick earlier, you know what? Listen, nevertheless, it brought the hype for the you viewers, it brought the hype for us commentating. But if he had picked this Kenshi earlier, and he potentially was bro, able to adapt bro, to unbearable skills play, do you think? Do you you think this motherfucker had the confidence to say, you know what? I'm gonna sandbag it with Scorpion, and in the second reset, I'm gonna bring the, the heat with with Kenshi. No, but oh, this clearly, is down the wire. Hold on. Now. Hold on, bro. Oh Look my god. This. Oh my god. Look this is a this. flawless victory. Hold on. Oh wow. my god. The low flawless connects. Victory. Final, Final game. game. Final, Final game. Everything, round. Dude, this is it. This is it, you son of a bitch. Ray Lakers with some big hits here in this final round. Unbearable skill. Got to find an opening. Great block. Has the armor now. Unbearable skill finds a turn. That's an overhead, bro. This is going to be huge damage. Drags him to the corner. The hard knockdown flexes wow. up. Cookie cutters all over the place. This is such a back and forth. And look at the meter management. Oh, no. Bro, bro connects. Bear got, up one, Bear got up on one bar. If he gets opened up here, this is going to be really bad. Oh my goodness, the blocks. Oh my goodness, the blocks! Oh, interactable! What the fuck? He's gonna meter burn the flex up. No chip damage. He gets a hit! Oh! Interrupts the jump in! Oh my god, unbearable! Whoa. The, the jump, jump in! Oh, delayed! He got delayed it! He's got some pressure ah, going off! Right like yes. here! The Kenshi. What the oh fuck just God. happened? Ray Lakers oh is your champion of the realms. Mortal Kombat X oh, champion. What did we just witness? That, okay. You got to give big ups to unbearable skill because he made it interesting to the very last pixel of health the delayed wake up destroyer to avoid the chip he almost he almost did something that would have literally sent me into cardiac arrest bro i literally had to take a second to put the shit back into my stomach after that <laughs> oh, oh my god oh, oh my lord bro what did we just witness Ray Lakers oh, is is bro. Ray Lakers is a champion for the second Mortal Kombat X event in a row. I don't know what anybody wants to say about that or what, but when it comes for the game time, I don't know if this guy's connection carried him or what's the case, but he's bringing <laughs> the fucking heat, Caboose. He's bringing the heat, Ray Lakers. This guy is ridiculous. My God, that was not easy for either of those competitors, though. They absolutely brought it to the very last second, to the very last couple of what minutes. What the that hell? That was just about as hype as it could possibly get. Seriously, we couldn't script this better for that tournament. Like, this top eight was <laughs> insanity. Bro, Champions of Rooms has a history of 
tournaments ending like this. Like I know, man. I, I don't know what whatever whatever God is is fucking watching upon this tournament series. <laughs> they like the fucking carnage, or she likes the carnage. But it, it's like it's insane, dude. Oh. Let me go ahead uh, save the brackets so we can crown this guy the champions of the realms. By the way, wow. Caboose, can you can you go ahead and, and take a look at that Macharino? Maybe start giving some shout outs, man. Sure, sure. Actually, hold yeah, on. Let, let, let's real quick, real quick. Let me, uh, two seconds. Let me pull this up. Pull this up. Boom. Check it out. Let me go through it. In one second. Hold on. So, Ray Lakers is the champion right there. The grand winner through all these legends that were invited. Deoxys and their start on Thursday. TC, ES Loco, Unbearable Skill, Michelangelo, King Gambler, Forever King, Revit Leafing, Cyclone, Jay-Z, Sleepy Lip, Ray Lakers, Star Charger, Mr. Aquaman, Higaku. All these fucking players. I'm saying losers one now. Bro, this was one hell of a stacked tournament, and Ray Lakers comes out on top. Congratulations to the dude. Shout out to every single one of these players that competed in this. Thank you so much for accepting the invite, coming through, bringing the hype to the players. Thanks to the community. Thanks to you guys watching. Thanks to everybody supporting. The entire top eight will be getting paid out. And Caboose, That's right. do the honors. Yeah, all right. So, so I think now we're going to go through all the people that have contributed to the match arena to set our prize pool over a thousand dollars so these competitors can all get paid so why don't we do that here i'm looking at the match arena we got a hundred dollars from ralph meister direct contribution there four hundred dollars from an epic figgy says let's pay out these players he's the one who sent us over a thousand for the tournament how much is the um, total Oseji, is that right is that right Oseji? With the 30, says Vex Milk. Uh, what is that? YT, hold on. I gotta get the full name here. YT Good Games with another $30. I'm not gonna watch live because I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing shit, but I get the boy T Seed and Unbearable in the finals. He was right about one of those. He was right about one of those. $100 from this dumbass named Caboose. I don't know who that is, but I hate him. Oh $50 from Dev, from Dev Guz, Dev Goose. A uh, dollar from Nick. $20 from Paul Pashke, $5 from Necrogasm, $50 from Spooling, $50 from Devgoos, with, oh man, that's 100 total from him, uh, $30 from Dre, Dredge, Dredge, I'm so bad with the names, I'm so bad with the names, he says F and G, G's, <laughs> $20 from Gap, $100 from Lupo Solitarius, is that right? I think I got that right. Fight Toma Toma, he says, it's Cleveland Jr. with the $10, says this is the way. $5 from Mr. Aquaman, who I was so hyped to see competing. Epic and I matches, loved epic matches. Copied. You see, he, he brought the thunder, he brought the thunder. $10 from Sweeney, $40 from Damester, and then another $10 from It's Cleveland Jr. And then $10 at the very bottom here from uh, from Light Nico Nicolau. Says, thanks Destroyer for being MKX's best showman. Keep the matches going of thank course, you everybody of so that, that's donating. all of them that's all of them that's all that's everything yeah. top to bottom there. i just want to say every single one of you you guys don't understand how much you're helping me and caboose how much you're helping this series how much you're just bringing content and, and hype to the community you know mm -hmm. I, I say this all the time all of this is a collaborative effort between myself caboose the team that that, that runs champions of the realms and you guys like you don't understand the community is very much a big part of this just as like us man and just thank you so much to continue supporting the crazy shit that me and, me and Caboose uh, host out here, man. We we're really, we're going really to keep bringing some hype. That's right. That's right. Yo, thank you, everybody who tuned in. I have one, actually, Destroyer. I don't want to hijack the stream here. No, but hijack I one it. Last <laughs> this is literally on your channel. Like. I, I got I got one last little no, announcement. I'm ending the stream. For, for, the, <laughs> for the people that are watching... Um, this Sunday, around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually running a charity stream for the Lung Health Foundation. We're going to be trying to raise some money for them. So if you guys want to tune in, I'm going to be playing some Injustice 2. We're going to try and get some first to fives or first to tens with some of the Injustice 2 Necros going. If you want to jump in and play, that would be amazing. If you could just tune in even if you'd like to contribute to the charity. It's going down this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be streaming for charity so i hope to see you guys there I but might, thank you everybody who tuned in for i might, I might have to pull up with my donatello oh yeah you want it yo uh, i would love to see it i would love to see it all right 
Anyways, yeah. but yeah, that just Wrap about does up. it. My food's here. We're getting out of here. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Congratulations to Ray Lakers. Over $1,000 raised. We'll catch you guys in the next one.